Welcome everybody to another episode of Oregon Trail. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure and honor being with you today. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Your valuable time is your time. That time is valuable, of course. Your time is valuable, and thank you for spending your valuable time with me. We are going to be continuing with some more Oregon Trail, and uh, we're going to be looking into different scenarios, different stories, different characters, and things like that, and we're going to see how well we can do. Oh, we've unlocked the, yeah, the Oregon or bus. That, that's, that's a whole scary thing that I'm just not, I'm not ready for. But yeah, there's going to be that as well. We're going to be... Um, I, I, I want to say eventually maybe do organ and bust. I don't know. We're going to see what today gives us. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I'm kind of just like going and and, and uh, kind of... I don't really have a plan today. Just whatever I like, I'm going to click and I'm going to do it and we're going to do it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Anyways, how you doing, Anti Meow? Yeah, gaming. How are you? Face gaming. How are you, Amanda? Hello, hello, Amanda. Free pain. How are you, free pain? Chibi. What's going on, Chibi? Who dies today? I know. Let's go. Let's see who dies today. Yeah, exactly. Right now, okay. Look, the um, what is it? The uh, the the bitter winter. I honestly feel like I can easily pass that. I was just there. I think I can do it. Absolutely. We're not gonna start there yet. <laughs> We're not. We're not gonna start there. But I'm just saying. I have a feeling like I get, even kaboom. I think kaboom. I could do as well. Lost hollow. Interesting enough, Lost Hollow, that's another thing we haven't done. So these journeys are all survived journeys. We did Kaboom, we attempted Kaboom, we went Kaboom. Bitter Winter, we froze to death at like days, like we were two miles away and we froze to death. Let's see what Lost Hollow has for us and see if, well, if this is uh, better or worse, right? Absolutely, yeah. Hey, Anna Kate, how you doing, Anna Kate? Ween Miss, what's going on? How you doing, Ween Miss? Good to see you. 10 bucks if you have a follow leave 10 miles from the end <laughs> i know right uh, that was yesterday was ridiculous i tell you what so stephen meek the head of an enormous wagon train has led his party astray help them survive the perils of the desert objective survive until help arrives interesting interesting stephen meek look at these characters they're kind of cool looking let's start the journey let's do it let's go Let's go. Can we do this one at least? Survive this? We'll have to see. Oh my lord. Renowned explorer Stephen Meek led his wagon train west to Oregon but has become lost in the unfamiliar terrain of the high desert. He sent some scouts ahead to look for a route forward and they are due back at any moment. We'll see about that. Lost Hollow. Uh, Stephen Meek says we have no choice but to make camp here while we seek a way out. Besides the four of us, there are ten other survivors we can rely on to explore and salvage. The scout I sent out this morning should be back any second. You can't stop playing this game until you pass every scenario with flying colors. I'm going to ask to start uh, and finish with four people, but no explosions of or hypothermia. Skatoo's history is first rage, rage quitter. I know, right? Isn't that like 1840, what, 1847 first rage quitter ever? Skatoo's. Uh, Scout, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find signs of any way out. It's more desert as far as the eye can see in every direction. Ah, everyone's morale goes down. It's too late to turn back. This is interesting characters here, right? Wasn't Korra the first one? I, you know, no. Korra, well, Korra left the party, right? Korra left the party, but she already copped an attitude, okay? So we didn't invite, she wanted to come back so many times. When someone rage quits, they don't try to join back, right? But I, I think the the funny part of it with Skatoos is just flat out, like two miles, five miles, 10 miles, whatever mileage it was, being out from our ultimate destination that we strived months and months and months in hardships and then end up quitting at the end. Like, what in the hell is that? So the 10 remaining survivors consume a total of 10 pounds of food supplies. There are 40 pounds of food supplies remaining. Not good. So for like four days, right? We should send a group of survivors out to salvage supplies. What should I have them look for? Um food supplies flour medicine clothes probably food supplies 
I need to think carefully about how many survivors to send. Sending more will improve the odds of a successful mission, but also increase the number of survivors that may be lost. One survivor. 8% chance. Five survivors. 48% chance. Ten survivors. <laughs> um... Reconsider. Medicine. Can I look at my party? Clothes. Food, supply, and survivors. Survivors go find other survivors. We have four days of food. Right? We have ten survivors. We go... I mean, I don't think anybody needs medicine. What about flour? No. Ho <laughs> ho! Interesting. Interesting. Okay, you know what? We go find other survivors. No? Ten... Well, ten... <laughs> this might be a terrible idea. Ten survivors to go find survivors. We'll see what happens. I don't know what to expect, honestly. Hey, Deborah, How you doing, Debra? How you doing? Professional lurker here. Just came in to say hi. I'll be going back to watching day three. Well, very good. And thank you for your uh, profession and your uh, expertise. <laughs> hey, Jason. How you doing, Jason? I had a rage quitter in mind, too. It was the religious character, just like yours with, with Korra. I think that type is just isn't a good type for the game. Very well. Voting those survivors off the island. Survivor. After some time, six, six, uh, six survivors returned with ten survivors in tow. Unfortunately, four survivors were claimed by the elements and failed to return. There are 16 survivors remaining. Damn. We got six survivors. Steven Meek, Pearl, Lucy. 16. Okay. Wow. Okay, so 16 remaining survivors consume a total of 16 pounds of supplies there are only 24 pounds of supplies remaining what shall we do obviously we need to go out and look for some uh, for some food right we will send we will send 13 survivors out this is like a numbers game 100 percent like a num numbers game 32 supplies have came back. One survivor was claimed. Okay. How long do I have to be out here for? All right. Even. What the hell is this? Food supplies. Got it. Red Road. Lucian. Pearl. Morale goes down. The 15 remaining survivors consume a total of 15 pounds of some food supplies. There are 41 food uh, pounds of uh, pounds of food to survive. That's only two days uh, left right now. Okay, right. So I think we go flour. Why flour? Because we can craft it into something. Yes, C craft it into the into the biscuits. Yeah. I feel like the more survivors we have, the the, the worse. <laughs> Go out. Lots to see. After some time, uh, nine survivors carrying 43 pounds of uh, flour come back, but unfortunately, four of the survivors were claimed by the elements. Okay. Got some food rolling, running, yeah. Hey, bedtime. How you doing, bedtime? Oh, my lord. Did someone just shoot themselves? What the frick? A terrible bang echoes from within the wagon, and Lucian cries out in pain. It seems the harsh desert uh, sun has ignited the powder without a rifle. Or, sorry, within a rifle. It has misfired with Lucian, the unlucky target. We have no medicine. Treat without medicine. Who should treat? Um, I feel like Red Road might be the best option to treat. I have my forehead on the wrong side of the screen. I just realized that. The bullet has struck Lucian in his torso. Lucian is severely injured and needs medical attention as soon as possible. Lucian has a gunshot wound. Very well. We're literally out here just to survive. This is insane. 
The 11 remaining survivors consume and a total of 11 pounds of food supplies. Uh, there are 30 pounds of food supplies remaining. Okay. We shall go out and find... I mean, there would be no point of finding medicine now, right? But... We would get medicine in case somebody else would get hurt. Reconsider. We look for more survivors. We look for more survivors. Go. Seven survivors were trimmed with eight survivors in tow. Unfortunately, four of the survivors were claimed by the elements. We now have 15 survivors in total. Very good. Hey, Swifty, how you doing? Loving the gameplay and fingers crossed. No backstabbing or explosions at the end line. <laughs> how you doing, Swifty? The group notices the flower supplies are getting low. We should bake some hard tack. The party groans at the suggestion, but hard tack will stretch the supplies for, long, uh, for far longer, but it tastes miserable. What should be done? I say we cook a little bit, not all of it, into hard tack. The flour, the flour is baked and produces a number of hard, dry biscuits. Hey, Joey. How you doing, Joey? How you doing? Crazy one. How you doing, crazy one? Steven Meek, I presume. I'm scouting ahead of the party of, the, of one Moses Harris. He's on his way here to provide aid, though by my estimate, he won't arrive for another 25 days. Brick. 25 days may be too long. We should do what we can to clear the nearby foliage and create signals so the rescue party can find us sooner. Frick and frick. The 16 remaining survivors consume a total of 16 pounds of food supplies. There are 14 pounds of food supplies remaining. We shall go out for food supplies. <laughs> yep. Send everybody out. See ya. After some time, eight survivors return, 32 pounds of food, five survivors have died. There's now only 11 survivors left. Rescue in 24 days now. Very good. This is going to be a tough one, isn't it? Morale goes down, hygiene goes down. The 11 remaining survivors consume a total of 11 pounds of supplies. There's 35 left. We shall go out and, um, what is the barrel? That's the food supplies, yeah? Aid rescuers. Um, yes. Aid rescuers. We will send out 10. Let's do that. After some time, seven survivors return, having cleared some of the nearby foliage. Very well. They're reducing the rescue time by three days. Unfortunately, three survivors left. This is definitely like a math. This is all math equations here. Okay, so we have eight survivors. Obviously, we need to go get more survivors. But then we have X amount of food, right? So far, I think the morale and hygiene are all oh, shit. Without warning, the wagon is surrounded by sandborn on the wind. The grains grate against the party's skin. Sandstorm worsens limiting vision. The party is coated in a dust and sand. The air grows difficult to breathe. It tests the fortitude of all caught in it. The eight remaining survivors consume a total of eight pounds of supplies. There are 27 left. Can we actually do something right now? Oh, no. You know what? We'll, we'll play. We have a harmonica. We will play the harmonica after the sandstorm is gone. What shall we do? Can we just sit tight? I mean, after all, it is a sandstorm. <laughs> uh, we'll go and search for more survivors. 64% chance of it happening. Go on. After some time, four survivors returned with six survivors in tow. We did increase our survivors by two. Okay. 19 days left. Uh, hygiene is getting a little crazy for Mr. Uh, oh, we don't have anything for hygiene at all. 
Oh, okay. Well, F me. Oh, wait. We could go find clothes, actually. Yeah, we could go find clothes. Yeah, party morale. Lucien, Lucien, Lucien has a dysentery. Very well. Dysentery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lucien is also forlorn now. Right, of course he is. Uh, 17 pounds of food supply with 10 people. So let's go ahead and look for clothes. Send 10 people out for clothes. This is crazy. Two clothes come back. After some time, eight survivors return, carrying at least two sets of clothes. Two survivors were also claimed by this. Okay. Let's talk to Lucian and say, hey, bud, would you like a new hit of clothes? Thank you very much. Everybody else around us, let's have a little bit of harmonica time, shall we? Thank you. A little bit of party morale up and going. Okay. There we go. Lucian is no longer forlorn. Very good. Lucian falls to one knee, clutching his gunshot wound. It has grown even worse and may become life-threatening without medicine. Now, do we have... Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we need medicine now. Okay. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I see which direction we're going here. Red Road now has dysentery. F me sideways. This is insane. Oh, my lord. Pearl got dysentery as well from Red, Red Road. All right, all right. Nine pounds of food supplies, eight pounds of... We're screwed, dude. We're actually screwed. We need medicine. We will send out medicine. Or medicine. Here we go. After <laughs> You lost two survivors, but also got two sets of clothes. Is this where the clothes came from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, after some time, four survivors returned carrying two bottles of medicine. Four survivors were claimed. We only have four survivors left. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Use this into this and into... I guess that's it. I can't use medicine on them yet. So we'll hold on to that very well. And then we shall um, rotate that because I'm losing my shit here. All right, so that's fine, I guess. We need more survivors, I think. A flock of ducks suddenly scatters into the air from the water near the trail. If they are quick, uh, someone shoot them. Steven Meek, shoot them. Did we get them? Stephen Meek draws a rifle quickly and fires a shot at the flock. Unfortunately, his aim is off. The shot goes wide, missing the ducks, who immediately flee out of range. The party is awoken by the sound of rumbling wagon wheels and idle chatter. The first wave of the wagon train has caught up to the forward party. There are now 24 survivors in the train. Well, this is a turn of events now, isn't it? <laughs> Plus, we got food. Right. Well, then, hello, everybody. With that immediate effect, uh, I think the one thing we definitely do is we uh, simply go out and aid the wagons. If you're losing your shit, you might have dys dysentery, too. You're, you're probably right about that. <laughs> Survivor, Stephen Meek, we discovered this man trying to steal some of our food during the night. He's a stranger to the camp, probably a bandit. What should we do with him? Exile him or arrest him? Do we really have enough to... Uh, arrest, like, frick. Um, exile him. Kick him out. We won't harm him, but we certainly don't have to help him. He's simply not our problem. This is crazy, dude. Stephen Meek has now caught dysentery. All right. 24 survivors remaining consume a total of 24 food supplies. There are five pounds of uh, food left. That's a lot of survivors and a lot of food supplies. We go out and we get food supplies with all these survivors. Hopefully they kind of die. <laughs> 72 food supplies. Hey, after some time, 10 survivors return. 
Three of them have died. We have 21 survivors and 77 pounds of food left. And we will... Hang on. Time out. We will put on some clean clothes for Red Road. There you go, Red Road. My lord. I feel like I used the uh, harmonica a little too soon. A little too soon. Hygiene goes down. Flowers down. What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Forlorn. The 21 remaining survivors consume a total of 21 pounds of food. There are 56 pounds left. I should go send help. Um... We will aid rescuers. Bring down our days a bit, maybe. Now, Lucian has a hygiene problem. After some time, eight survivors return, having cleared some of the nearby foliage. Unfortunately, five survivors have died. They're going... Are they... They are just going out and shooting two people to eat? <laughs> They shot the person they exiled. Uh, Survivor, Meek, we're moving on. We can't wait here and starve. We don't even know if Moses Harris is going to be able to find us. What should we, uh, what should be done with the group? Provide 50 foods, warn them, plead them, or let them leave. We'll provide them. Warn them, plead with them. Let's plead with them. I know how hard it is, but think of the others here. Who need your help. Without you, they'll suffer even more. We can only survive this if we band together. You can't convince us to stay with emotional blackmail, Meek. Uh, these people aren't our responsibility. They're yours, and you failed them. Holy crap. I wonder if this... This is probably like a real guy, right? A real, like, historical person. Ten days left. Look on the bright side. Lucien has recovered from dysentery. That's that's great news. The 12 remaining survivors consume. Gunshot wound hit was healed as well. My God. All right. A total of 12 pounds of food supplies. 12 and 12. There are 44 pounds of food remaining. Very good. There's so much going on here. Uh, we shall send a group out for clothes. We need new clothes. Please and thank you. Go for more clothes. Ten survivors returned, two have died, carrying only one set of clothes. That sucks. That really sucks. One set? One set. Pearl. We'll give the clothes to Pearl. Hardtack, Flower, Red Road is forlorn. The uh, 10 remaining uh, survivors consume a total of 10. We have 34 pounds still left in storage. We shall go out for... More clothes. More clothes. Eight survivors return <coughs> carrying one set of clothes. F. Pearl reaches into the wagon to check the group's supplies and emits a startled yelp and stumbles backwards. Oh, she's going to get bit by a snake. A snake hastily slithers away out of the wagon, though nobody manages to get a good look at this species. Good thing we have a thing of medicine on us. The creature has bitten Pearl. We will treat with one medicine. Who should treat the medicine? Uh, Lucian. Lucian. Great job. Lucian treats Pearl's wound, applying medicine in a clean bandage. Luckily, it looks as if she will make a full recovery. Very good. Good job. That was that was good for us. Uh, however, though, we need Lucian to have a little bit of hygiene now. There we go. All right. Let's continue. Oh, my lord. Eight days left. The party was awoken by the sound of rumbling uh, wagon wheels and idle chatter. The second wave of the wagon train has caught up to the forward party. There are now 38 survivors in the train. Oh my god. 38 people here. 
All right. What shall we do? Great question. Wonderful question. I need medicine. Without warning, the wagon is surrounded by Sanborn. Yeah, and the grains of the party. Frick, frick, frickity, frick, frick, frick. Composure. Red Road has died. Damn it. Red Road has died. In memory of sweet Red Road, beyond the far horizon lies music. No. Be at rest, Red Road. She loved two things, most of all, good horses and music. No. Here lies good old Re Red Road. Death parted us, but hunger will bring us together. No. In loving memory of Red Road, life is fleeing, but home is eternal. Yes. All right. Red Road is down. Down for the count. We need medicine. We need it fast, too. We need medicine. Pearl has recovered from, from dysentery. That's good. 38 pounds of food. All right, so let's send out a bunch of people for medicine. Hopefully they bring back a lot. Like at least three bottles, two or three bottles. One bottle. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Got to give it to Steven. Okay. Fingers crossed. Heed my my mini complaints. Okay. <laughs> we should not have left. All right. Six days are remaining. We will surely die. Lucian's uh, voice for us whining continues un unabated. Uh, the constant belly aching agitates the remainder of the party considerably. The situation should be handled quickly. Lest the group be driven to distraction, what should be done about Lucian? Talk them down, ignore them, let him air his grievances. That's a tough one. That's going to bring down morale. We will... Maybe it will bring up his morale. Oh, crap. Let him air his grievances. What is troubling you? What do you think is troubling them? There we go. Party morale up for everybody. Lucian makes his grievances plain and the party listens. They share their anguish, both for troubles past and those yet to come, and find solace in each other's company. The journey has weighed mightily on everyone, you think? I feel tolerably better. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Lucian caught dysentery from, uh, dysentery from uh, Stephen Meek. Eight survivors have starved. Lucian is forlorn. There are 26 survivors remaining. We need medicine deeply, but we shall go out for food supplies. Flour. We shall go out for flour. If anything, we can make biscuits from it. Thirty that's terrible. Thirty flower comes back. After some time, thirteen survivors come back and they are fine. Nobody was lost in that. Alright. Very well. Five days remain. Without sufficient food supplies, twenty six survivors have starved. There are zero survivors remaining. Oh, okay. With no other survivors to help Savage, the party is forced to simply endure the dry heat and hope rescue arrives in time. While gathering water for the camp, Stephen Meek finds some turtle eggs buried on the bank of a nearby waterway. The, wa the eggs might be gathered and cooked for, uh, for food, though some in the party might find such an act of unsavory. What should be done? We should gather the eggs. We are desperate, desperate times. Good food. Stephen Meek decides to gather the eggs. Regrettable, uh, regrettable for the mother turtle, perhaps, but a necessary sacrifice. This might carry us to the rescue. We won't be able to get any medicine at all. I, I, I just hope we complete the scenario. <laughs> I hope we complete the scenario. That's all I hope. Oh no. 
Okay. With no other survivors to help Savage, the party is forced to simply endure the dry heat. Yep. People's morale and stamina went up, though. I don't know why, for whatever, for whatever reason. Four days left. This is crazy. Lucian reaches into the wagon to check the group's supplies, then emits a startle. Oh, don't even F me around with the snake, dude. Enough with the snakes. Suck out the venom or treat out without medicine. Treat without medicine. Who should do the treating? Steven. Ay, ay, ay. Yep, that hurt. Lucian feels ill almost immediately as the venomous pumps through his veins. He has died. Two people remain. Oh, good gosh. That's my band name now. <laughs> oh. Lucian, light of our life, fall for a fall for all the childhood he will never have. What the hell? Lucian, a life cut short. He is not gone, but merely walking among flowers. I like that. Two people remain. Hey, Susie. How you doing, Susie? I'm finding it hard to know whether they need food or food supplies at any given time. What the hell? We just got a bunch of food supplies right now, too. Ah. The party is awoken by the sound of rumbling wagon and wheels and idle chatter. The party, the third wave of the wagon has caught up to the party. There are now 40 survivors in the train. What is happening, dude? Pearl has dysentery. We, we need to send these people out. I, these survivors will probably die, but we need medicine. I've had enough. What are you, where, honestly, where are you going to go? One remains. Pearl st storms off into the unknown. We should press on. Stephen Meek seems unperturbed uh, by Pearl's absence. And then there was one. I, honestly, where are you going to go? We're all stranded out here. 40 remaining survivors consume a total of 40 pounds of food supplies. There are zero pounds of food supplies remaining. What shall we do? Um. Honestly, we're going to take the selfish route. These 40 people will probably die. And we will make sure we have clean clothes for our last remaining survivor, Stephen Meek. That's what we do. One close, come back. They will die. We will go like this. Go like this. Go like this. Go like that. Steven Meek will be the lone survivor in this scenario. She stormed off to go poop somewhere. <laughs> Without warning, the wagon is surrounded. Oh, not by the Sandborn or Sandstorm. Uh, Sandborn, yeah. Uh, this is too much. Don't say. Don't say you've had enough. You're one day out. Don't be a Sukkotuz. Don't be a Skatoos. Stay with it, Steven. Stay with it. Stick it. Stick it. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Moses Harris, you must be the Meek Party. Well, actually, I'm just Meek. Our party is either dead or abandoned us. I'm sorry we took so long. We stopped at a McDonald's on the way here. Thanks to the aid of Moses, Harris, uh, Stephen Meek, and the rest of the wagon train eventually escaped Lost Hollow. We've done it! Hooray! We've survived! Whew. Despite the adverse, uh, adversity... Adversity? Adversity? Ad... My lord. Stephen Meek survived Lost Hollow, guiding the wagon train with... Uh, train forward. <laughs> Not the, I would honest, I honestly, I would like to have all four of them survive, but we completed the scenario. That's what counts. Nine people, total deaths, nine. That is bad. It's not over yet. Try out the next journey, the California Trail.
The gold rush is on. Lead a group of fortunate seeking immigrants on an explosive journey west to the gold fields of California. Let's do it. Why not? Let's see what the California Trail is all about. I'm for it. Hey, AKJM, how you doing? So your journey begins at Fort Hall. Reach Humboldt Wells or Mormon Station to unlock them as fast travel locations. Once unlocked, you can hire a guide to take you straight there on your next attempt to reach California. Okay. $600, California Trail, Fort Hall, August, John Half Moon. Very well. August 19th, 1851. August 20th, 1851. Journey across wide plains, parched deserts, and formidable mountains in search of a gold California. Use your wits and experience to avoid disasters of or running afoul of gold-stealing thieves. Blast or dig your way into the Gold Rush history books. Love this. Who should be your first party member? We do have the musician unlocked. That's a new thing that we have unlocked. Missionary, honestly, like, missionary has, like, definitely pissed me off to no extent. I, I will tell you that. Uh, we have adventure Mr. Walter, who is pessimistic, egotistical. We have a refined athletic musician in Rachel. We have a missionary and paranoid and optimistic. Walter. Um... I, I, athletic and refined. I mean, refined we've dealt with, but it's nothing, it's nothing too hard to do with refined. I think Rachel is kind of like the way to go. Healthy, strong, and enjoys physical activities. Yeah, I like Rachel. Yeah. You want to, you want to, you want to scatoos? Well, scatoos yourself, silly. <laughs> May I be scatoosed? <laughs> Pessimistic means you're going to be listening to them run their mouth the whole time. Pessimistic and egotistic. That's a terrible mixture then. Yeah, we'll go with Rachel. We have Skura. Is this Katu's sister? Skura, Opal, and Levi. A farmer, brilliant and kind. I actually like that. Adventure, religious and paranoid. I don't like the paranoid trait. Banker. Um, hedonistic and Salak with $50 he brings with us to the table. I kind of like brilliant and kind. Really understands the ways of the world and is a fast learner. Kind, caring, forgiving, and pleasant to be around. I think we go Shura or is it Skura? Is it Shura or Skura? But I think Skura, right? Shura? Plus, they come with the harmonica. Next on the list is Betty... L oh, don't even tech, tell me. It's Lulu again. Betty... At least Lulu made it to Oregon. Betty, Lulu, and Francis. Um, Betty is a paranoid, egotistical missionary, while Lulu is hedonistic and funny. Francis is a slack, but also a charmer that comes with $50. Slack. Unwilling to put in the effort necessary for success. Right. Believes that the pursuit of pleasure is the most important thing in life. Funny, amuses everyone around them with ease. It's Lulu or Francis. We go with Lulu again. Bring it back, Lulu. We have Samuel, John, and Hannah. A banker, a banker, and a missionary. Wily and neat and kind and heroic. Probably Hannah, right? Wiley, a chronic liar, frequently employing dishonesty and half-truths. Uh, no thank you. Heroic. Kind, caring, forgiving, and pleasant to be around. Uh, heroic shows great courage in the face of danger. Hannah. $50, too. Did we go all-female cast? We did go all-female cast just about, right? Hell yeah. Choose carefully. Names cannot be changed. Be honest, I will not change any names. <laughs> this is fine the way it is. All right, on the hunt for gold. This kit is perfect for prospecting if you don't mind a little danger. Or if you prefer, you can start from scratch and choose your own supplies. Interesting. Prospector's kit. 50 bullets, 10 clothes, 3 medicine, 3 nitroglycerin. I don't even know what nitroglycerin is used for in this game. 
Three toolboxes, 200 meat. No, oh, I died. I just want to... No, no. God damn it. Go back. Go back. Select a kit. Yes, select a kit, please. I want to read these. The Greenhorns kit is 175 flour, 50 bullets, 10 clothes, 1 coffee, 3 medicine, 3 toolboxes. Hunter's kit is 100 bullets, 10 clothes, 1 coffee, 3 medicine, 3 toolboxes, 200 meat. Fisher's kit, 50 bait, 10 clothes, 1 coffee, 3 medicine, 3 toolboxes, 200 meat. And the Carpenter's kit, 175 flour, 50 bullets, 10 clothes, 3 medicine, 6 toolboxes, and 2 wheel grease. I kind of like the Carpenter's kit. Nitroglycerin, is that like explosives, right? Or, I don't even know, dude. I don't know. Yeah, super explodable. I don't even know what, I mean, we've only ran into like, I think one, ow, one, um, it's one situation, one situation where we could have blown up something in the road. That's pretty much it, though. I kind of like the carpenter's kit, though. It doesn't come with, like, uh, doesn't come with, like, meat or anything like that, but we can get meat at any time. I like this. Add kit. Okay, so now that we have that, let's see what we can do. We can keep shopping, of course. We have $511 that we are spent. Now we can buy ourselves a wagon. Should we buy the sailing one? Small wagon, or we can go wind wagon. In the wind wagon, we don't have to worry about ox at all. The inventory is a little bit strange. Durability is at four. Or we could say the Murphy wagon again. Um, which will take three ox. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, the wind wagon doesn't have a lot of capacity. But also doesn't have to worry about ox. An unusual wagon that has been equipped with a mast and sail. Reasonably priced and doesn't require an ox. I have to worry about wind? Oh, God, that would be terrible. Well, we are going to California, though. A big chungus wagon? Five durability, four ox. Huge inventory. Murphy wagon is probably the safest bet. Yeah. Probably the safest bet. Oh, wait, can we even get that one? Oh, we can't even get that one. Oh, we don't even have enough. I thought it it looks like it shows like we have enough right here, but we don't have enough. So we only have two options. We have a small wagon that has two oxen with three star durability, or we have the wind wagon. I'm kind of tempted to hit the wind wagon just because it's something new and something we've never had before. That's what I'm thinking. So between the two, between the small wagon and the wind wagon, because we can't afford the Murphy wagon and we can't afford the, uh, the, the that wagon that wagon um i think we go this let's give it a try shall we let's look at the wagon look at our inventory space right not too bad we can negotiate it of course we can uh delegate where we need to do uh 455 dollars oh i see we already had that okay hang on a sec time out go back we already had that um, wagon already selected. So they already have us. So we can have the Murphy wagon. We already had that selected. I see. Okay. Okay. Well, then I don't know. I kind of want to give it a try just because it's fun. But I don't want to waste a run, too. All right. I'll go. I'll, I'll keep it safe. I'll play safe. We'll go Murphy wagon. We'll go Murphy wagon. There we go. There we go. Hey, KT. How you doing, Katie? Um, so Fort Hall. We have quite a bit of money on us. And we could buy some more stuff if we really want to. But let's talk about and see what's going on here. So the crowd of people outside the fort is large and diverse. There are fur traders uh, hawking their wares. As well as countless emigrants headed to Oregon or California. Let's talk to Ant. I've traveled to the I've traveled the trail to California more times than I can properly count. Well, before most of the safest routes were charted, a man could get lost back then, and I frequently did. Now I make my living guiding wagons, trains west. The times sure have changed. Gideon, 
Some of my family were uh, brought out west as slaves. As soon as I was freed, I knew I had to find them. I'll bring us all back together. In California, a hard-working man can make his own faith and fortune, and that's what I intended. Dig, dig, and dig. I won't stop until I have enough money to feed, clothe, and house all my kin. Horse, Horus, Tavanen, Tavanen, Horus, Tavanen. Heading west to California looking for gold, eh? Well, so am I. Come all the way from Virginia to build my own church. Bought the finest mining tools to help fund it, too. Horus, uh... All right, very good. I have faith that with these two hands, I've, I'll build the most spectacular uh, house ever to grace the earth. I'll see you in California. Millicent? Millicent? Millicent Dorchester? It's been a ghastly experience just getting this far from Boston. My husband, Henry, promises me it will be worth the effort. Though I hear in California and there's gold literally rolling down the hills like boulders. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Have I turned it into the start of a new trail? You have. This is... We are going to California. Yeah. What do you got for trade? Anybody for trade here? Very well. I kind of want to go one more set into the store. 139, just in case. I mean, we don't have any parts, right? So add the wagon, add the wagon, add the wagon. I think that's good. Hey. I, I, I think that's smart. Yeah. We're going to swing by Kansas place. Absolutely. Come on down. Come on down. Yes, we are going to swing by my place. We're going to swing to the, uh, you know, to the, uh, to the Kansas, uh, California estate. <laughs> yeah, come on down. I'll, I'll open, you know, I'll be open arms with you. Let's do it. Welcome you with open arms. Okay, yeah, let's depart. Three oxen. Let's go. I think, honestly, the way we did with the last trail... Is I really think we did a good job with how we were very steady for the most part. We were meager and we were like, we were average, whether it be food and travel speed. Because our oxen did pretty well until the end there. All right, American Falls. Mesmerizing stop along the Snake River near the very beginning of the California Trail. If we collect meat, we get coffee. If we collect pelts, we get medicine. We shall do that. Don't know which one has either or, but uh, right is always right, so let's go right. And hope that we get that. Leaving Fort Hall. At first light, the immigrants set out westwards uh, from Fort Hall. The wagon equipped for the venture. Spirits are high, the air is cool and crisp, and the party's heads are full of hopes and dreams of California. The party is eager to find gold both at their destination and along the trail. If they can gather enough, uh, their future prosperity is all but guaranteed. Very good. Very good indeed. I like that. That's promising. Now, hang on a sec. Strenuous and meager. We will keep it at that. Keep it at that, indeed. How dare you have 17,000 followers instead of 17 million? <laughs> This is the best Let's Play series I've seen in a long time. That's very kind of you. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate that. And hey, Anna, thank you very much for becoming a member of the channel. I do appreciate that. Look at that. Oh, baby. As it just comes on in. Love that. Thank you very much, Anna. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you for becoming a man member, and uh, that's very generous of you. Hope you check out my members' live stream, members' videos, and all the member-exclusive stuff along with that. A larger regular mound lies on the trail ahead. It's hard to make out what quite it is. It's a deer lying dead in the dirt, skin clinging uh, thinly to its ribs. The creature seems to have died of starvation, though it still have enough meat to feed a brave traveler or two. Who should gather the meat? Um... 
I know this might be, people might be thinking, wait a sec. You know, could be bad. Could be bad meat, right? Could be bad, but it might not, right? Might not. Have a good one, Yag yeah, Gaming. Have some good rest, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Have some good rest. Have a good one, Chibi. Have a good one, Chibi. Have a good rest of your night as well. Yeah, so you go by Anna Kate. Very good. Anna Kate. Very good. Very good. Um, I think I'm going to risk it. And who's going to do it? It's going to be Rachel because Rachel likes physical activities. Is YouTube copyright claiming? Copyright claim? Yeah, YouTube is, well, there's, uh, there's a certain, uh, entity, I should say, uh, copywriting these, the videos before because the music, there was a certain music in the game that is, uh, not whitelisted, so, yeah, it's, it's an entity, it's not very much on YouTube, it's more or less the people that didn't give perm permission very much, uh, for, for us to use this music in the game for our streams, so that's the only thing. Rachel holds the skinny knife uh, aloft for a moment before dropping it into the dust. She simply cannot stomach the thought of eating this poor creature. Ah! All right. I got to be careful of people's, uh, I guess, mindsets here. The deer is left to rot or perhaps to be a prize for future scavengers. Very well. Winter in 87 days. God damn it! Smoking gun, a terrible bang echoes from within the wagon, and Hannah cries out in pain. It seems an improperly stowed rifle has misfired once again. We will treat that with medicine, and I think, um, Skura, the farmer, Rachel, the musician, Lulu, the adventurer, right? Lulu will do it. Yeah. It worked. The bullet has a pass clean through Hannah's leg. Lulu furnishes the victim with medicine and bandages the wound tightly. Unfortunately, the bandages can barely stem the flow of blood. Hannah will need further medical attention or perhaps a miracle. That's terrible. Oh, well, all right. Already something. We're having the same problem over on Twitch. Yeah, I used to stream on Twitch uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago. Uh, we will leave Skura or Lulu to do this. Skura or Lulu to do this. Skura or Lulu. Again, I don't know. Maybe Skura. We'll do Skura. We'll see what happens. Skura. Shooting too. Okay. We'll go hunting. Appreciate that, Chibi. I found if it's going to bad meat to prompt with should you inspect the meat or something like that. If it goes right... I gather it's been fine. Okay, very good. Got you. Got you. Got you. Also got you. Anybody else? Got you. All right, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough killing there. 140. Holy crap. My lord, that was a lot. I think that's the most we've ever had. That's a good hunt. Very good hunt. After a successful hunt, uh, Shura carries 140 pounds of meat back to storage. Shura can spend some time skin. Yeah, we will obtain the pelts, please. We need that for the quest or for the little missions. Let's continue. I always wonder when uh, they get shot or break their leg or something. They're not sitting in the wagon for a while. I know, right? The wagon's back wheel catches in one of the trail's mirrored ruts. I think we can replace the wheel, right? Biceps. Ooh. Unpack all, unpack some. Every time we've done unpack some, we've been okay. With the wagon bed lightened, the party pushes as the oxen pull. In time, the wagon rolls free. The cargo is unpacked, and the wagons continues its uh, journey to uh, American Falls. Very good. A little bit of down on the morale, but I think we're all right. We're almost at American Falls now. 
our first stop in our journey to California. The gunshot to the leg, and so it begins. And so our story begins. Any Fable people out there? Anybody that likes playing Fable? Love Fable. And so our story begins. Arriving at American Falls, the sound of churning water reaches the party's ears. American Falls lies close ahead, breaking the back of Snake River. There we go. We got our coffee, got our medicine through that, too. Uh, we will talk to people. A number of travelers are gathered along the riverbank, taking in the beautiful scenery. Clifford Holmes. Clifford Holmes, the banks of the river have a volcanic character, don't you think? I've seen so many formations of basalt, uh, basalt uh, piled on top of one another. I better take some samples before I leave. Evelyn Clements. What a beautiful location. The water here is so clear that you can sometimes see fish swimming about under the surface. I wish I could stay a little longer. Jack Buford. The Devil's Gate Rock aren't far from here. It's a good place for an ambush, so I'd be careful if I were you. Thank you for all of that. It appears some people are willing to trade with you. Let's see. Uh, Y'all have any good things? Offer toolboxes? Medicine? Clothes? What are you offering for the toolbox there, partner? I'd rather not. What are you offering for the two clothes? I'd rather not, I don't think. Let me see my meat situation here. Uh, Yeah, I'd rather not. We're good. We're fine. We're a-okay. Uh, we will rest, though. Yes, let's rest up. There we go. Ah, very good. All right, we shall depart, but before we depart, let's go ahead and put some grease on that. There we go. And let's depart. Off to see the wizard, the wizard of wizard of, wait. Off to see the wizard, the wizard of wizard of Oz. Na -na 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 okay, register rock. A singular granite monolith along the Snake River where westward emigrants might carve their names into. So if we collect meat, we get one coffee. If we restore Lulu's hygiene, we get one uh, medicine. That's easy. We can do that. Oh, my lord. All right. So let's go this way. Refreshed by the brief stop and beautiful view, the party heads westward with the Snake River for company. Where is... Who is... Like... Lulu, they said? Lulu's hygiene full? Did we do that? Okay, very well. I do have the auto-select uh, animals now. Uh, collect collection thing. And it spots a broken down wagon next to the trail ahead. I can see something shiny and glimmering inside the wagon. Oh, I see it too. It's right there. We should investigate this. Somebody who has good composure. You know what? Let's let Rachel do it. Rachel stops dead in her tracks. Her f flesh crawls at the sight of dozens of scorpions swarming around a large chunk of gold inside the wagon. What should Rachel do? Retrieve the gold or forget about it? Forget about it. Honestly, in real life, if there's a bunch of gold, like, I don't know. I guess it's hard to tell. It's hard to say, right? If there's some gold, right, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to retrieve it. If there's scorpions, I'll just, like, throw rocks or something at him. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, this is tough. Should I retrieve the gold and risk getting bit by the scorpion? Or not bit, but stung. I don't, I don't know. Maybe some scorpions do bite, but most of them do sting. I know Danielle, when she lived in Arizona, she got stung a lot. Especially, like, in the house and stuff. Scorpions and whatnot coming into the house. I have a... I, my gut tells me to forget about it. But my curiosity says retrieve it. Yeah. Kans, could you say hi to Grandpa Mark? Grandpa Mark! Hey, Grandpa Mark, how you doing? How's it going? How you doing, Grandpa Mark? Having a good, uh, having a good day? Having a good Friday? About to enjoy the weekend? Thanksgiving's around the corner, yeah? Watch out. Anyways. <laughs> wonderful Wizard of Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. I see. That's how you say it. 
See, all I know is about the uh, bad things that happened to the actors in that movie. Oh, Hollywood has evolved now, hasn't it? Retrieve the gold or forget about it. Honestly, I'm going to go with my uh, gut feeling here. I'm going to forget about it. Rachel remembers what Shakespeare said about the discretion being the better part of valor and leaves the gold where it lies. Yeah. Imagine what that gold could have brought. Uh, well, you know, maybe in good time. Something fishy. Uh, we do not have any fish bait. We will push on, though. We will not craft any. We're fine on food, too. Let's go this way. 100 pounds of meat we still need to collect. That seems so much. Candy striped leaf hopper. Candy striped leaf hopper, right? Ooh, what is this? Golden opportunity. An abandoned gold dig site lies along the edge of the trail. The ground cracked open by shovels and pickaxes. The previous treasure hunters have moved on. This would be an excellent chance for the party to mine for gold. It's abandoned dig site. I wonder if there's anything left. We could get a lucky find, uh, lucky and find nine or ten gold nuggets. Yeah. What should we, the party, do? We should mine for gold. Party can dig for gold and or use nitroglycerin charge. Digging is safer, but nitro is so much faster. We shall dig. Who should dig? Uh, Rachel. See? We didn't risk getting stung by the scorpion. Now we are digging for gold. There we are. Wow, we got two gold from that, too. Rachel's hard work has resulted in retrieving two gold nuggets. What should be done next? Have Rachel keep digging, give Rachel a break and have someone else dig, or abandon the dig? Very well. This is a, this, uh, Rachel again. Keep digging, Rachel. Yep. Keep at it. Good things come to those who, that wait. I feel you on that one. Rachel's hard work resulted in two more golden nuggets. What shall we do? We shall now get greedy and we shall now abandon the dig. Having had enough of the hard and dirty work, the party decides to leave the site and be satisfied with their collection of four pieces of gold. Four is better than none, and we have winter coming along. Don't forget, yeah, winter is on its way. Well, we will go to the hunting ground here. The mine can collapse? I did not know the mine could collapse. So if you keep digging the mine collapse, that, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cassie. How you doing, Cassie? Yes, we shall hunt. See if anybody else is a good hunter. Honestly, Shuru did just fine, but we'll, we'll put everybody else out there. Hannah hasn't done anything at all. Let's let Hannah go out there. Hannah has zero skill in shooting. I regret this decision. Hey, Pirate Epap. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. All right, we need, what, 100 pounds of food here? And now I walk terribly slow. Okay, you're mine. How you like that? Oh, that was such a great shot. Thank you. Oh, way to trick me on that one, buddy. I think that's 100 pounds. It has to be at least 100 pounds there. I will hold off. 100 pounds. Good job. Good job. Good job. After a successful hunt, Hannah carries 140 pounds of meat back to the storage. Uh, yeah, we will we'll get some pelts as well. There we go. We will discard the eight pieces of, of meat. That's fine. Continue. 351 pounds of food. My lord. 80 days till winter. I think that was a nice little trek there. Wagon condition takes its first hit there. Hannah's still the one with the gunshot wound. Misfire, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it?
Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, you're right. Lulu's hygiene. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. Registered Rock, a strangely friendly and inviting monolith on the blanks, uh, sorry, the banks of the Snake River. There is some activity as immigrants carve their names into the rock to mark their passing. Yeah, I could have got that medicine easy. Luckily, we have three, but still. Uh, we'll talk to some people. People here are eager to set up camp and rest their animals. Some gather around the rock to carve their names. Evelyn Clements. Um, have you carved your name into the rock? It's lovely being able to see the names of people who came before you. No, we have not, but we shall, because that's a party morale thing, right? There you go. The party takes some knives and carves their names into the surface of the rock for future travelers to see. The experience is uplifting. People here are eager to see. Let's go Cordelia. Cordelia, Cordelia Fitzsimmons. Uh, the camping here is very good. There's plenty of water, and the oxen have no shortage of grass to graze on. It's a nice place to stop and rest your legs. People here are eager to see uh, Henry O'Connell. The Raft River crossing, crossing isn't far from here. Only a day or two travels if you can keep your up a good pace. Any of you guys like trading anything good? No? Nitroglycerin. <clears throat> what are you selling for that nitroglycerin? Haggle. Who has the best wits? Refined and athletic. Anna? Kind and heroic? Brilliant. Churu. Yes, that seems fair. Okay, good. So, 15 bullets for a nitroglycerin. I'll take it. Thank you. We will rest. Yeah, let's rest. Hey, Nick, how you doing? How's it going, Nick? <laughs> Anna's brilliant, I think, or someone is. Yeah, Shuru is brilliant. The wagon bed is now rearranged, and that is all good. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick. Time to blow off some fingers. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to uh, just take a quick bathroom break, and I will be right back. Give me half a second. 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 Hello? <clears throat> we are back. Up to day 13 on your WeChop series. Uh, saw you streaming, so had to say hello. But not into this game, so uh, it is what it is. But hope you're doing... Yeah, yeah, doing good. I'm doing good, yeah. Doing good, Nick. Absolutely, absolutely, for sure. That was not dysentery. No, that was not. <laughs> Let's depart, shall we?
I think it was the Starbucks that Danielle brought me in the last stream today. Off to the river, Raft River Crossing. Avoid a broken leg. We get 107 flower and avoid contracting cholera. I've been roasted so much on this freaking word throughout this series. It's incredible. People are awesome. <laughs> the first, ri first river crossing along the California Trail. A relatively simple crossing, but one that should be not underestimated. Okay, let's see here. There's a little bit of mining right there, too. We do have nitroglycerin. We don't have any bait. So this would be kind of like a wasted uh, patch right there. Um, yeah, I will... Uh, Oh, this is tough. I'm going to go to the undiscovered location. I'm going to go to the undiscovered location. Yeah. Leaving the imposing registered rock behind them, the party continues westwards, uh, buoyed by the spirit of all the immigrants that came this way before them. Anna reaches into the wagon to check the group's supplies, then emits a startled yelp and stumbles backwards. Snake hastily slithers out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have, yeah, treat with medicine. We have the medicine. Uh, we'll do Skaru on this. Sharu, Skaru, Sharu. Oh, too medical. Treats the wound, applying medicine in clean bandage. Luckily, it looks as if she will make a full recovery. Very good. Fish are worth a lot of money. Yeah, fish are worth a lot of money. I just don't have any bait. Have a good one, Nick. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your day. Hope you have a good Friday evening. Absolutely. Lulu spies a wounded jackrabbit limping amidst the grass off the trail. A swift gunshot would take care of it and take it out of its misery. F. I feel bad for it. <laughs> hey, we've increased shooting, though. Shuru brings the j wings the jackrabbit and we miss completely and the creature scattles on. Ah. Why, hello, folks. The pleasant scent of frying garlic and onion reaches the party long before the light of the cooking fires. Light of the cooking fires. This campsite seems to be equipped with all the facilities necessary to prepare a dinner to restore health. Yeah. I shall, uh, yeah, I shall do so as well. Play music. Oh, cook, play music, cook, play music. Um, our health is fine. Let's play music. That's the perks of having a musician with you. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. When did you go live again? About an, almost an hour and a half ago. Party morale goes up. That's good. Oh, we can do both. All right. Well, we don't need to. We'll go ahead and tell stories. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Rachel shooting one. Hannah medical two. So when you do tell those stories, I guess you learn a little bit about people too. Hannah's gunshot wound has healed. Oh, good. All right. That was, that was good. I like that we stopped there. Let's continue, shall we? What if the nitro explodes? That's a question I did not want to see. Our river is flood dirty at the moment. Only caught two eels last two days. Whew. Is eel good? Eel's good, yeah. I want to have some eel. I want to try some eel. Hunting is ideally suited to those who have spent time in the wilderness, requiring keen shooting skill and the ability to track prey through challenging environments. Those with low stamina will be unable to carry back much meat. Who should hunt? Nobody shall. We shall push on. Yep. Well, we are at the Raft River Crossing. One thing I will say... It, whoa, Painted Turtle. That's kind of cool. One thing I will say is I can't believe that our 
raft, or sorry, not our raft, but our uh, caravan here has done pretty well. We will give a little bit of hygiene here to Rachel. There we go. Oh, some smoked, smoked, uh, smoked eel. That sounds pretty good, too. Jelly eel. Can you hear that? Yes, it's the river, right? The river is up. Uh, the mute and murmur of the raft river greets the party as they approach the crossing point. Other California-bound hopefuls mill about preparing for the crossing. Often dammed by the beavers, the river is slow-moving. Nevertheless, the party and their wagon need to be properly ready to cross. First things first, we talk to people. Henry O'Connell. Used to be that people had to cross the ri this river on rafts, on account of all the flooding caused by beaver dams. The fur trade has changed things since then, but I'd still advise caution if you intend to ford it. Jack Buford. You better watch out. The Clark party was attacked not far from here. Some people say it was the Shoshone, but it could have been the outlaws who were dr all dressed like them. Samantha. I'm traveling to California to meet my partner for the first time. We've been exchanging letters for a while. I know that the journey west is a difficult one, but I'm determined. That is... <laughs> Holy crap. That is incredible. She's meeting up with her partner that she's been exchanging letters with in 1851. That's dedication. That is like... I can't imagine how hard of communication that would have been. All right, anyways, um, that would have been so difficult. Trading. It appears some people are willing to trade. Let's see what they have to offer. 80 flour, one ox, four toolboxes, four traps. Not interested in any of that. Uh, we will rest, I think, and then cross. Let's see. Let's see what the crossing conditions are right now. Rapid? Yeah, we will, uh, we will definitely... Uh, yeah, we will definitely rest. Let's use the pelts for this. 80% chance. That's a good chance. And we shall... Oh, yeah. We need to see where our repair is at. What is open? What's exposed? That's exposed. <clears throat> Let's put that right there. We will rest and wait for the conditions to improve. Moderate, 1.8 feet deep. Wagon condition, 97%. The river is too shallow to risk floating across. The wagon would surely run aground. The river is too shallow to cock. Very well. Board the river. I think we go. Even though it's at moderate, I think we still go. I think we go. Without further delay, the party fastens down their supplies and prepares to enter the cold water, careful not to get swept away in the current. And the reason why is because we are kind of like against time right now with winter coming soon. So that's that's another reason why. Don't want to spend too much time to get the perfect condition, right? Hey, Piper. How you doing, Piper? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. These people are pissed. The party scrambles up the muddy bank and returns to the trail. Avoid a broken leg and avoid contracting cholera. Nice. Now we are off to the City of Rocks. City of Rocks, an enormous collection of granite shapes that, from a distance, are reminiscent of a city. A place to rest and seek shelter. Collect herbal remedies and collect pelts. We will go right. We will go right. With Raft River crossing behind them, the party looks ahead with some trepidation. The only hope the trials to come aren't as treacherous. Before we do that, we will put a little bit of squeaky squeak on this. And we will repair that little tiny little hole there. We will continue. 
inventory overflow. Let's take a look here, shall we? Uh, 95 flower because of the quest that we've completed. Um, it is kind of, you know, we don't really need it. We're fine. Would be ironic to fail when the organ went, um, when, when the organ one made it so many times on risky chances. <laughs> I know, right? 96% <laughs> chance of completing it and you failed. I would have been disappointed as all hell. I just realized. There we go. Okay. I was going to say, nothing is progressing. My bad. Thunder rings out across the landscape. Rain pelts down on the party and the lighting frightens the oxen. The party could push on to get past. No, 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 no. No, no. We wait out the storm. Wait out the storm. Wait out the storm. Party packs inside the cramped wagon and bends down the covers. Party morale goes down, damped and cramped and uncomfortable. The party's tensions are amplified. This is not what they signed up for when setting out on their journey. I beg to differ, honestly. Oh, shit. Already? Rachel is forlorn because of a rainstorm? Like, calm down, honestly. <laughs> it's rain. We're all hiding. We're taking shape. You don't need to be pissed off. You don't need to be forlorn. Really? Rachel? Really? As all things must end, eventually the clouds clear and sunlight returns once again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Party morale. Give me composure, I guess, with the Bible. My God. Very disappointed in you. Hit it with a harmonica. Let's continue. I got tipped over five times in a row with 75% chance. Oh my lord. That's terrible. The wagon trundles by a cluster of gravestones by the trailside, recently placed by the look of them. Uh, solemn air impresses itself upon the party, the grim recognition of the trail's oft fatal hardships. Well, good thing we hit that morale set there. How Cora of her? I know, right? <laughs> Have I selected the food rationing I want yet? Uh, like the amount of food that we're consuming or what do you mean by that? It's like they expect it to never rain. Taking root. Uh, the party spies a small thicket. We shall harvest because that is part of our, um, part of our quest here. Yeah, I, I'm sitting at, I'm basically, the way I'm doing my, um, the way I'm doing my, uh, rationing and my, uh, my rationing and pace is I'm leaving it where it is for now because kind of like how I did with the Oregon City, I feel like it was a good happy medium and it worked out for us. So I am sticking with ration at meagers and strenuous here. We will go to the gold. We will go to the gold. Are they hinting at possibly the nitroglycerin pop blowing up? I hope not. I mean, I see them talk about it from time to time, but I really hope it doesn't. So while feeding the oxen, Shuru observes that one of the beasts seems lethargic. It's breathing labored and might be sick. A full day's rest or additional food may well restore its vigor. Um, can I do both? Can I let rest and feed? Uh, give the ox extra flour portion of the food is set aside for the supplement of the ox's feed yeah now we will use glycerin hopefully we don't blow ourselves up doing it an abandoned gold site lies along the edge yeah we shall do it it's an abandoned dig site all right let's see here uh mine for gold Use nitro. This is the whole reason why we got it. Oh, damn. Composure. Hannah has the best composure right now. Oh, I don't feel good about this. 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 
Hannah carefully places the charge of nitroglycerin where it will be most effective. The nitro charge explodes before Hannah can get completely clear, leaving her with nasty burns. Okay, burns is better than death. We shall let Shuru take care of this with medicine. Fire in the hole, and we done blow everything up. Shuru does the, her best to clean and cover Hannah's burned skin, but with little effort. Only time or further medical attention will heal Hannah's burns. So she has burns. I guess it could be worse, right? Why didn't she walk away slowly? I know, right? If you friggin' put dynamite in there. Or, you know, at least nitroglycerin. Like, I don't know. Fire in the hole and run away. The party collects to scatter gold, totaling an eight piece. So we got eight pieces of gold out of it. Was it worth it? Count your fingers? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. That was something. Well, we're going to be on our way to City Rock now. Wow, that was crazy. Uh oh, Rachel is forlorn now. Rachel, you're 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 being a little kind of a bee right now. Don't be a bee. Tuned in to see poor Hannah get lit up. <laughs> Rachel began scratching her stomach fiercely. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll give a little meat on this. Yeah, use meat. I'm fine with that. Continue. Hello, everybody. Did you hear that explosion? Yes. Somebody uh, lit something and decided to walk away very, very slowly while it was ignited. From a distance, the shapes of the rocks could easily be mistaken for houses or churches. A strange, petrified city in the middle of the trail. Up close, the rocks resolve uh, to being just that. Though no less spectacular, given uh, their size and variety of forms. Okay, let's talk to some people. We did not get our quest done. Uh, wow, Bertholt Jones? Bertholt Jones? Have you got any wagon grease with you? Frick, I used all of it. People have taken uh, to writing their names with grease on the rocks here. It might be worth doing if you want to leave a mark. Mark name? With no wagon grease, the party is unable to leave any marks on the rocks. Damn it. Clifford Holmes. That would be a party morale thing. I'm sure the stone formations here are made of granite. They most uh, they must be very old as well, judging by how much they're eroded. You can make a career out of study in this area. Evelyn. I heard that the Shoshone people live in these parts, but I haven't met any of them myself. Maybe they're trying to avoid us? Yeah, probably. Um, let's go with Anybody have some Greeks around here? <laughs> Gonna cost a lot, isn't it? We will haggle Good job One gold Two gold, sorry, two gold I'll give you two gold for two wheel grease, yeah Probably the worst Deal ever, but I will do it. Why? Simply because this is a party morale thing. Plus, it helps our wagon as well. There we go. Rachel is no longer forlorn. Very good. The party uses a small amount of wagon grease to write their names on the surface of a rock. The writing will be visible for a long time. All right. Very well. We shall rest. <clears throat> we shall rest and we shall depart. Party stamina goes up. Very good. Time to depart. I think overall, good stop. It was a good stop, yeah. The Goose Creek Crossing that will take us into the Humboldt Wells. So the Goose Creek Crossing, the second river crossing on the California Trail which is wider and more treacherous than the previous one. Collect herbal remedies, you get $45, and avoid contracting dis dis uh, dysentery, and you will get one harmonica. We will go... Ooh. Ooh. We will go... towards... 
hunting. We will go towards hunting. Yep. We need to get pelts, I think, for the Goose Creek. Or, yeah, the Goose Creek. Leave it behind the granite structures of the petrified city. The party begins a descent to Goose Creek. And another crossing. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, overall, our wagon has been pretty well. We haven't had serious issues with it. I have a feeling that I'm going to regret what I just said. A group of crows began to circle the wagon, possibly attracted by the smell of food scraps. Or maybe they represent a more serious omen. Suddenly, a shiny gold... Whoa, 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 dodge! What the frick? A shiny gold-hued object drops from the sky. Is that what I think it is? Did the crows just drop gold? It is! It's gold! What? Party morale and somehow party hygiene goes up. It says got uh, gold falling from the sky. Who will ever believe it? I don't know how our hygiene went up on that, but it did. <laughs> I'm talking about the fox hunting with the smaller hitboxes. I just like stand on top of them, or at least I try to stand on top of the foxes. Greetings, or any animal, really. I just try to stand on top of them. Greetings, travelers. My name is Dr. John Evans, and I wonder if I could trouble you for some assistance. Would you happen to know the direction to California by any chance? I believe I got churned around somewhere in the last, oh, I don't know, 100 miles or so. You see, I'm a geologist, and I happened upon uh, a fantastic discovery in the mountains quite recently. I'm returning with equipment excavate. Uh, to excavate it, uh, only I've lost my way. I'm in a spot of financial trouble at the moment, so it's really quite urgent that I make my way back to the site soon. Did I already mention that I'm a geologist by trade? I believe what I found could be the discovery of, of, of my career. What is it, you ask? Please, wait one moment, I'll show you. Nobody asked? Uh, Alright, pipe down. Let's not be rude. Do you see that? That's a sample of pure palisade. Or, I'm not a real doctor, which I very much am. There's more in the mountains, much more. Perhaps you could help me excavate it? I have to charge you for information about the location, of course. It would only cost you $20. I shall decline. Oh well, it's your loss. All the more meteorite for myself. Although, I'm still not sure where California is. And I will not tell you where California is, even though you are on the California Trail. I think that was worth it. Uh, yeah, we'll let Shu do the hunting, and we will get some foxes out here and going. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> hey, Panda, how you doing? Hope you're doing well, Panda. Hope your extra hour goes by quickly. Send it. Yeah! Okay, that's good. Nine bullets left. We'll hold on. We'll hold on to it. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll hold on to it. I could tell him and charge him $20, right? I could tell you where the California Trail is. It'll be 20 bucks, though. We will get the pelts. Oh, my lord. It's dark. Four pelts. What else do I need to do? Collect three sprigs of herbal remedy. And okay, we'll go to the gathering. See if we can get that. Party morale goes down. Why? Do not know. But it did. Maybe because we're not filled on food. We are being kind of like scarce on our food. Well, not scarce, but you know, more. Oh my god. The wagon lurches. Rock and roll. Here we go. The sun and die. All right. So who's actually good at uh, carpentry? I don't know. I would want like maybe the smart person to go and do it. Let's do the, Let's let the smart person go and do it. Oh, we did it. All right. Well, that worked. Cool. 
we will repack this. We will fix this. Repair this, this, this. Good job. Throw that right there. Put our medicine. Ooh. Ooh. I don't want our medicine to be exposed. So we will repair that and that. Because I don't want my music instrument to be exposed either. We're going to need to get more repair stuff here soon. Okay, that's good. Especially with our um, crossing coming up here in a sec. Party spy is a thicket of shrubs we will harvest and we will tell Lulu to do it. We do have an adventure book, huh? I think maybe. I can't remember. We did get exactly three herbal remedies. That's good. Do we have an adventure book on us? I can't remember if Lulu gave that to us or not. Uh, yes, we do. We do have that. Good. Might as well just send it. All right, now that as we uh, come up to the Goose Creek Crossing, the wagon lurches wildly. Its wheels f uh, failing to find... Oh, God. Is it, again, another one? Someone broke their leg. Churu has broken a leg. Lord have mercy. We will let Hannah try to look at it. Of course. That's like our best character so far is, is Shuru. Uh, Hannah examines the injury. She struggles to determine the extent of the break, but suggests that it should be splinted so that the Shuru will at least be able to walk again. Splint it up? I guess so. One mile out. Seems like the wagon parts are just toolboxes that take up more space most of the time. The events that ask for a specific part seem pretty rare. It does. It does. Like, oh, I need a, a wheel for this. It does seem pretty rare, right? You're right about that. And, oh, the wheel is broken off. We need to fix the wheel. I wonder if that determines on, like, if that has to do with, like, the type of wagon you have. Like, if I had a low durability wagon, like a small wagon... I wonder if then, like, maybe you run into those more rare, uh, like, oh, the, the axle broke or the tongue or the, or the, you know, the wheel or whatever. The pleasant sound of running water reaches the wagon as it approaches Goose Creek. We will talk. Look at the goose in the creek. Goose Creek. There are as many flocks of geese along the riverbank as there are travelers preparing to cross. Bill Kelly. Bill Kelly, I've been camped at Goose Creek for a few days now, looking for gold. There was a bit of excitement yesterday when my friend spotted something shiny in the water, but it was just worthless Mika. Mika? Mika? I don't know what that is. Very well. You should have seen the disappointment on their faces when they realized the truth. I think they almost cried. Cordelia Fitzsimmons. These confounded mosquitoes are driving me to despair. I certainly won't be sorry to see the other side of this creek. Isaac. Take a gander at these ganders. Will ya? They're all up and down this creek making a nuisance of themselves and stealing food right out of us from under our, no from under our nose. Dude, geese freak me out. There's like a place we can go to and like feed geese. And like like bread and stuff expired bread or regular bread whatever people just do it that's just what they do and all of them are like the, the you know the normal looking gooses geeses right they're small and then there's always like the giant big one that looks like this or that is pure white has the biggest orange snout ever and like he's like the leader he's like the pack leader and nobody messes with him but he comes up to you for some bread and they have like teeth and stuff and it just it's it's scary stuff <laughs> it is yeah, let's see what supplies we can possibly get it's mica oh mica's fool's gold i didn't know mica was fool's gold i didn't know that's what it was called i always called it fool's gold never really called it like mica okay uh, there's a lot of mica everywhere you go where i'm at anywhere you go uh, it's probably a mineral, right? Um, any river, any, like, creek, 
almost all the lakes too that you go where I live, you see shiny, glistering gold in the in the sh in the shore or the shallow of the banks, and you always get excited, and then you pick up what is like nothing. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing. What do you offer for those three toolboxes? One gold or two clothes? I'll do one gold. Since it was a free gold we got from the sky, I will do that. Gotta watch those killer geese. That scares the crap out of me. Pyrite is fool's gold? Do you remember the shiny flaky heat reflective sheet inside toasters? I have I don't I don't recall. Geese make great guard dogs. Geese. Pyrite is fool's gold. They use mica to make paint and some makeup. Oh, okay. Okay, so pyrite is fool's gold. Is that right? Or what is the gold shimmery in this game? Mica. And why would they refer to that? I don't know. I'm so confused. Is that it? Pyrite? So mica is used to make paints and some makeup. So mica and pyrite probably look very similar then, right? Do they? Okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and look at our cross. Eyeshadow is common for using mica. Okay, I see. Moderate depth chance fairy. No. We can afford this. We can afford this. We'll rest and wait for conditions to improve. We need to rest anyways. That'd be nice. Moderate, two feet deep. It actually went higher. Let me check. What is exposed? That. Onward! Let's go! Without further delay, the party fastens down their supplies and prepare to enter the cold water. Mica capacitors and insulators. Oh, insulators. Oh, okay, I see. The insulators. Okay, now I understand. Now I get it. Wow, look at that. We are so deep into that. <laughs> My lord. I don't even know if those oxens were breathing. I think their heads were underwater. The party scrambles up the muddy bank and returns to the trail. We avoid a dysentery, which is good, and we got $45. Nice. And we're about to go into the Humboldt Wells. A rather unappealing marshy place, it nevertheless, nevertheless provides water and a chance to resupply along the California Trail. If we avoid contracting again, we get a harmonica. And if we avoid contracting cholera, we get a Bible. Before we do that, we should probably send ourselves somewhere. Let's go this way to the campsite. To the campsite. Let's look at something here. Um, how's our party morale? We'll wait on it. We'll wait on it. Yeah, we'll wait on it. With the Goose Creek crossing behind them, the party looks ahead with some trepidation. Let's go. Do, 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 do. A bison lies in the dirt beside the trail, unmoving. It doesn't appear to have an external wounds or evidence of sickness, at least at quick glance. However, further investigation may be necessary to determine the safety of any meat. We shall push on. We are not in desperate need for meat. Ah! The wagon is wearing out. We must repack our bullets. Onward. Hundred dollars and ten gold. Two hundred and thirty-four pounds. We're sitting at a meager and a strenuous pace. The pleasant scent of frying garlic and onion. Yes, this is good. 
set up camp. We will play some music while we're here, too. Should help our party morale. That's why I didn't use that uh, harmonica right off the bat. Save that. Now, how's our health? Health is fine. Tell stories, learn more about each other. Let's do that. Rachel Wits are great. Shooting Lulu, Hannah Wits. Hannah and Rachel have good wits. Okay, that's good information there. The party spends the night talking amongst themselves, learning more about each other's skills. Good. Go mining, maybe, possibly. We'll have to see. Imagine doing all that walking in the crappy shoes of that period. I know, and like, even hearing like the stories, like, of like how people like, oh, you know, it's a long trek. I'm from Boston. Boston all the way to California. Like, that's insane in this situation. And we're not talking like straight, smooth roads, bumpy, dirt, gravel roads. Like, uh, must have been horrible, honestly. Chuba lets an out ear splinting cry, and the wagon lurches suddenly, tripping over a simple stone in the soil. Suru, or Shuru, uh, falls and finds herself crushed under the unstoppable wagon wheel. Suffered a grievous injuries and needs some serious treatment. This is the second time. Broken leg? Does she have two broken legs? Two broken legs now? One bro I don't even know. How many broken legs do you got? You already had a broken leg, right? What do you have? Burns. You have burns. Dig site. We shall go with mine for gold. We will dig. And we will use Rachel to do it. Imagine doing all that walking full stop. Two. Keep digging. I have family that traveled from England to Utah with a handcart. One of them died in Wyoming. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. No more gold to be found here. We've done all the gold we got. What did you think of Frozen Flame? I actually left... Um, if you go to my Frozen Flame stream... Go to the end of it, and I kind of share my thoughts on Frozen Flame. Hopefully that answers your question. Bunch of hygiene issues. So let's take it. Let's hang on. Let's take a little bit on our hygiene here. Let's go boom, 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 and boom. Well worth it. He said 20,000 people died on the trail. Other sources say 65. I don't think there would ever be. I can't imagine there would ever be a, a correct number of data talking about, like, how many people died on the trail. I mean, there could you imagine so many people, like, going missing? I mean, this game even alone shows how many people can easily be split up apart from their party and things like that. I wonder if there's a lot of people that also went forlorn also back in the day. I don't know. Ahead of the party, the trail disappears under a cascade of rocks and dirt. It seems a recent rock slide has left the party with little options. Uh, we can't clear it with nitroglycerin, so we're going to have to find another way. Leaving the known qualities of the trail to find a way around the rock slide will require blazing a trail, testing the wayfinding abilities of anyone in the lead. Depending on the skill of the navigation, finding a way around could be very quick or significantly longer. Who should take point? Lulu. The adventurer should. Lulu successfully finds a way around the rock slide suitable for the wagon and leads her party back to the trail with little time wasted. Good. Good job, Lulu. I remember in junior high, I was a library assistant. I had to play all the copies of the original Oregon Trail games to read the tombstones, and they would destroy the ones people put profanity on. Oh, my lord. <laughs> campsite rest we shall do this yep obviously 
The party gathers around the campfire. Play music. For party morale. Party morale up. Now, health-wise, interesting enough. Hey, that's good. We want to rest. Maybe. No, we'll tell more stories and learn more about each other. Yeah. Medical, wayfinding, carpenter, carpenter. Okay, all right. A little bit more information on our characters. That's good. I was thinking about resting, but we have coffee, too. So, we are... Just about there at Humboldt Wells. Oh, God. The party happen, uh, happens upon a small pool of still clear water. Perhaps drinkable. Perhaps not. Brief investigation might resolve the issue. We'll let Lulu do it. Lulu smells the water, tastes it, then sips her fill. There's no danger here. The water is indeed drinkable. The party can drink the water to restore stamina, wash clothes in it to uh, do hygiene, or ignore. Um, drink the water for stamina. The party drinks the water and is surprisingly cool despite the desert's heat. There we go. Sometime after drinking the water, the party seems no less healthy than before. They continue their long trek into the desert. Doing all that walking with mud butt and no toilet paper. They got enough leaves out there. Getting this game for the Switch. Dusting it off and using it again. Gives you a reason to dust it off and use it again. One mile out. As we arrive in Humboldt Wells. Where's the center of this little encampment, no? Oh, I guess over here. Oh, look, there's Stinky Pete right there. Good for him. There's Stinky Pete again. There he is. Good for him. Arriving at Humboldt Wells, ahead the lush grass and clear springs of Humboldt Wells come into view. Tents and wagons are dotted around the wide open space and the bustle of immigrant life can be heard. While not as civilized as a fort, the stop presents an excellent opportunity for the party to rest and resupply before taking on Nevada's inhospitable Great Basin, the second leg of the California Trail. Well, we got our stuff, too. We got a hymn book and our uh, uh, harmonica as well. Well, that's good. Leg one of three. Congratulations, your party has reached Humboldt Wells. 25 days it took us to get to Humboldt Wells. Not too bad, right? Um, ooh, services. Let's see here. Talk first. Crowds of travelers are resting and refitting at the wells. A true oasis is in the desert. Rowan. If you looked at a map, you'd think we were almost at the end of our journey. Unfortunately, there's a desert in a mountain range standing between us and California. Gideon. Humboldt Wells ain't much to look at, but at least there's other families here. It reminds me of why I'm walking westward. Good to take a pause and revitalize before heading into the desert. Horace says it's been quite an ordeal just making it this far, but my faith sustains me. I'm across the desert ahead all 40 miles of it, no matter how long it takes me. I yearn for the day when I stand before my congression, all clad in gold, extravagant yet tasteful. Millicent, this place is even worse than Fort Hall. If such a thing is possible, tents, wagons, a foul-smelling immigrants, a uh, present company expected, of course. Accepted, of course. Expected? Expected? I think that's what I said. Expected. Promises my... Henry made me about wealth and happiness seems a long way off, but what choice have we 
have we then to push forward? What service are you having here? Oh. Oh. Give someone for money? Welcome to the SA office. SA office. The SAer can evaluate gold nuggets and pay the party for them at the local rate. How many gold nuggets would you like to sell? Add one gold nugget to the pile of zero. 14 left. Add five gold nuggets. Five? Six, 14, seven, maybe split it in half. Proceed. What if I gave you half my gold? Seven gold nuggets. I can honestly say that's an excellent rate. Is that acceptable? $10 a gold nugget. It's haggle. Rachel. With some careful wrangling, Rachel manages to secure a better deal. 77. So $11 for seven gold nuggets. Yeah, we'll take it. Excellent. Here's your money. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Please keep us in mind if you wish to sell more gold in the future. All right. Very good. We will do a physician here. Thaddeus, welcome to my practice. Where is your practice out here? Who wants some... Uh, yeah, we need Shuru to get some uh, health back into him. There we go. Thank you. And we won't restore the health. I think Hannah also. We need to take care of Hannah. There we go. So we spend our gold nuggets to help Hannah and Shuru. Shura. Shuru? Shura? Yeah. Have a good one, Susie T. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good one. Leave them. Your Patreon is much appreciated, Travelers. Farewell. Okay. How's our hygiene? Hygiene's good. I didn't mean to do this. My bad. I'm sorry, dude. Hygiene's good. Um, wagon condition. That's a whole nother thing. But we're good, I think. Go to the store. Let's see. I will go... <clears throat> obviously this. And again. And this. And this. We're good on t-shirts right now. Actually, you know what? You know what? I already have a lot of grease on me, so... We will pay. This is tough. Okay, we'll go like this. We'll go back. Hang on. Go back to shopping, please. T-shirts. Only because I feel like these will go higher. I mean... The price of these will go higher the farther we go. Kind of like what happened last time. So that's why I'm going with that instead. I don't want to go bait too. Some nitrine glycerin. And another box. And that's almost all of our money. We could get more money if we sold more gold. But I think this is fine. Hey now. Pay and leave the store. If you have items in the discard area, these will not... Wait, hang on. Review. This is mine, right? Is this mine? Do I keep this? I own that. Okay, yeah. I do own that. This stuff can go. Okay, now. All right. How are we? Good, 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 good. Use this. No, use this. Repair that. Repair that. There we go. And repair... We'll use the axle and repair that. Good. Alrighty. 
I like it. I like it a lot. Now we will rest, right? Yes, we will rest. There we go. Surprised they didn't have like a lodge to offer. And I know what you might be thinking. There's no lodge. Do you see a lodge here? But like they offered all these other services. Uh, stamina went up. Morale went down, unfortunately. But we're ready to depart. Can you eat members of the party? I don't think so. Hold up a moment. Are you carrying nitroglycerin with you? Sure, it's useful, but also dangerous as a <laughs> as all get out. Make sure you don't uh, bunch it all together and definitely don't drop it. Better yet, find yourself a trained prospector next time. Best of luck to you. This is definitely Steaky Pete, prospector. We'll have to see. Let's not get any burns, any blow ups here. I'm surprised we didn't blow our fingers off, right? <laughs> Immigrant pass into Humboldt River Crossing, into the Big Meadows, and then into Mormon Station. The immigrant, crap, in the, the immigrant Pass, at more than 6,000 feet above sea level, Immigrant Pass is the only practical way through the Immigrant Hills. Collect pelts and collect meat. So we're going uphill now, which means it's going to take a harder toll on us, right? Uh, right, so... Wait, what is this? No script trait. Um... go this way before we go we will use some grease some bacon grease on our wagon and go that way the party grids themselves for the long trip ahead across the nevada's great basin and the second leg of the california trail it will be some time before they can resupply it properly every step closer to california makes the party's dreams of striking it rich in the gold fields all the more tangible here we go Not that many miles off, I will say. Not that many miles off. I had the party spies a wagon pulled off to the side of the road, brimming with sacks and crates and all manner of goods. The trader says, hey there, friends. We find ourselves with an overabundance of supplies. It won't all fit in our wagon. Is there anything you're in need of? We'll happily trade gold. Trade for gold. Hannah. Go at it, Hannah. One gold for 90 flour, one gold for 70 meat, one gold for four coffees. Haggle. Despite turning on the charm, Hannah fails to secure a better deal. F. How is our situation? I guess we could use a little bit more meat now, could we? We'll trade one gold for 70 meat. How about that? A pleasure doing business with you. I wish you the best of luck on your trail. Four pounds to our meat. Very good. More people? Uh-oh, oxen. Hello there. Good to see another immigrant along the trail. We're in a spot. We're short on supplies and on money, too. Would you be willing to trade for some gold? What the frick? <laughs> Haggle. Use Rachel this time because Hannah failed last time. With some careful wrangling, Rachel manages to secure a better deal. I'll trade you a hundred flour for six gold nuggets. No deal. I will not let the greed get better to me. I will not let the greed get better to me. The party approaches a dilapidated, wind-blown wagon, while the long-abandoned wagon looks as if it might collapse at any moment. Some parts may be salvageable. Um. Axel. Who should attempt this? Lulu. F it. One axle. Good. The reason why I went with axles is because we used an axle to repair one of our spots on the wagon. We will leave. Not a bad deal considering gold is only worth $11. I know, right? <laughs> Not a bad deal. 
Not a bad deal after all. You wouldn't have the space for a second thing of flour anyways? Oh no, I was selling flour for six gold. That's what I was doing. I was selling flour, not uh, purchasing flour. Tripping over a small bump in the rough road or rough ground, Lulu finds herself in the dust. A little sore. Picks herself up and keeps walking, though. Thanks, Lulu. Gold's harder to find than flower, that's for sure. Nice spot for hunting. Uh, let's see. I guess we could use more, yeah? Absolutely. Let's go. Got you. Oh, I forgot how much bullets we had. We were actually pretty low on bullets. I did not realize that. Eighty pounds of meat. Eighty pounds of meat sounds good. Hundred pounds of meat sounds even better. Don't people put uh, gold in their teeth, right? There we go. 100 pounds of meat. Sounds pretty good to me. Obtain pelts. Five pelts. Good. And um, collect three pelts. We just did that. 70 of 100 pounds of meat collected. I think I just took that out of the ballpark, right? So mission should be fine there. We'll go here. Yeah, collected meat and collected pelts. We did that. Good. Winter is still in 59 days. We'd like to reach California before winter. All right, there's our wagon. Stuff falling out. We'll see if Lulu or Shu... Let's do Shuru. Brilliant. Shuru is brilliant. Shura. Failed that. That sucks. Repack. We will not lose any of this stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's use the axle. There we go. We'll use the axle. We'll use a tongue. And then we will put our t-shirts back where they need to go. Take our medicine. Or sorry, not our medicine. Our nitroglycerin. You don't want to be taking that for medicine. Uh, off to the side there. We will use the hymn book. Get our composure up. For Shuru, right? And how's our morale? We have two harmonicas. I think we're okay morale-wise. Hygiene is still good, too. Continue. Everybody's stamina just went down there. All right, very well. I've, I've seen both gold and pearls under the foreskin as a way to carry wealth. What the frick? <laughs> oh. Apparently there's some expensive food that they put gold in there. Yeah, they do make uh, food uh, with gold, don't they? They do make uh, some food out there with gold. There's like, like a $5,000 burger or something out there that has food or something rather, right? And there's videos on YouTube about it. Several travelers are celebrating their journey. Whether they're honoring their victories or commemorating their fallen is unclear. The party may be able to join in the celebrations and restore some morale. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Play some music. One of my friends back in college used to drink the cinnamon drink with gold in it. I hated it. Cinnamon drink. We will rest. Can we rest? I don't want to celebrate. I want to rest. Can we do that? <laughs> yes, celebrate. The party celebrates with the other travelers late into the night, forgetting their troubles, if only for a moment. Oh, nice. Okay, very good. Party awakens after a long night of celebration. They feel more relaxed, if a little tired. 
That nitro makes me nervous. Same, dude. Rich people shenanigans. I would never spend five hundred dollars on one burger just to. Sh I know, right? Ridiculous stuff. Crazy stuff. You know, that's a wheezing cough. Her poor health is beginning to uh, take an exact toll. Lulu has heard of rumors of local plant uh, known as the Devil's Club. Let's search. Yeah, go search for it, Lulu. Be successful. Add vodka with gold flake in it. I, that reminds me. <laughs> gold slick vodka. Gold slick vodka. And I watched Super Bad the other night. Uh, can you get me some gold slick vodka, please? Uh, her superior knowledge of the area locates a large stand of Devil's Club. After the outer bank. A uh, bark of the root is scraped off and the interior crushed into a paste. There's enough of the remedy to aid Hannah and some extras to store for the future besides. Oh, good. Six herbals. Really? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was very, very good. Damn. Good job, Lulu. Apparently, the gold on the burger didn't even have any taste. I'd also hate to see what it does to your insides. We are here. We are finally here. Up the mountain we go. Uh-oh. What the heck is happening there? <laughs> Look at that. I'm spending that much on a burger. It better be the best thing in the world. I know, right? It better come with a house or a car. Uh, though Immigrant Pass provides a welcome relief from the party's uphill movement, the wagon rolls roughly over the tracks left by previous travelers. Gold is a very, very, very soft metal. Isn't it? Coffee and medicine got from that. That's good. Immigrant Pass. It's quiet. A small number of exhausted travelers have chosen this area to catch their breath in spite of the relentless heat. Henry O'Connell says, I suggest you keep following the Humboldt River to the west. It doesn't make for good drinking water, but it's the best point of reference you'll find. There's no sense of getting lost looking for a shorter route. Isaac. We've only just begun to cross the desert, and I'm already losing animals to the heat. I'll be lucky to have any left by the time I reach the other side. Robert. Crossing this mountain has been exhausting for everyone. My wife has taken ill, and my own endurance has been tested as well. I'm consider I'm concerned that we're not uh, sufficiently prepared for the next leg of the journey. That's kind of sad. It's really sad. It appears some people are willing to trade, but what are they willing to trade for what we have? I don't think there's really anything good to offer here. There's not. Hold on to what we have. We will rest, though. There we go. <laughs> well, the stamina goes up. That's good. Stamina's up, stamina's up, stamina's up. We could have a little bit of coffee if we really wanted to as well. But, we will depart. I could have checked the trade one more time to see if there are any other trades that uh, could have refreshed there, but it's okay. Time to go to the Humboldt River Crossing. So, a river crossing in the area of the Winnemucca, named for the 19th century chief of the local northern uh, Ayu. Peoples, the very last river crossing on the California Trail. Collect meat and collect pelts for this. Uh, we will go... Uh, this way. And then what I will do is I will add... Hang on a sec. I will add a little bit of bacon grease to it. Please and thank you. There we go. Uh, put that herbal remedy right there. Leaving emigrant, emigrant pass behind, the party is awed and somewhat daunted by the distant view of the desolate Great Basin, uh, basin ahead of them.
Upon checking the bags of flour, it finds that mold has begun to grow in one of them. Perhaps they were not properly dried after the last river crossing. Um, we will discard 48 flowers and be on our way. I wonder if we could just like give that to the oxen. That 48. An abandoned gold dig site lies along the edge of the trail. The ground cracked open by the shovels and pickaxes. The previous treasure hunters have moved on. This goal, this would be an excellent chance for the party to mine for gold. I'm no expert, but this looks like an abandoned dig site, you think? Let's not hurt ourselves. Mine for gold. Dig or use nitro? Use nitro. Who wants to do the nitro? Please be gentle with me. Oh, do I have to hit continue? My bad. Oh! Oh, wait, they ran. That's good. Yeah! Yahoo! Seven gold nuggets. Hooray! Great job. Off to get some meat now. Oh, wait, we don't have a lot of gun or a lot of ammo, huh? F. That's all right. We got a lot of gold now. Hunting guys ideally suited. I don't know. I mean, we only have four bullets left. It is a deer one. I will do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll probably use all my ammo here, and then hopefully I can get more at the next crossing. I gotta do deer. Four shots, four deer. Done. Not doing the bison. Oh, I almost missed. That's only going to give me 80, uh, 80. So we're going to finish off with the bison. I got him. I got him. 70 pounds. I got him off screen, but I freaking got him. Holy crap. That was my last shot right there. My Lord. 70 pounds, I guess. No more bullets. Got to get more bullets. My Lord. That scared me a little bit. I thought I wasted that last shot. Well, we can't go to hunting, so let's go to a lost wagon. Okay, a little bit of energy problems here. That's all right. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of coffee. There y'all go. A little bit of coffee. Put on some new clothes, too, while we're at it. There we go. Dude, so far, this all-woman crew has been, like, legit. Like, really good. Way better than our organ crew, I tell you what. There's Danielle. I told you she went to work. I told you she went to work, and all they did at work was go watch the new Black Panther movie. There she is. She says Wakanda Forever was so good. The party approaches a dilapidated wind-blown wagon. Um, I, you, I'm good. I'll, I'm good. I'm actually good. Thought you were going to get crushed by the rocks after on that explosion. Probably got hit in the head by gold or something. Party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. Very well. I can hear rushing water. Oh, crap. Here we go. 
So much fun. Oh, that's good to hear, Daniel. Glad you had so much fun. The brown waters of the Humboldt River snake their way across the Great Basin. Emigrants must cross the river on the journey, on their journey to California. The river is deceptively deep in places, and the party will need to carefully consider how to tackle the challenge. So deep, that means we're floating across. We're straight, uh, like, floating, yeah? Good morning, Brass Butterfly. How you doing? We'll talk first. Crowds of people line the river while their wagons are made ready to cross. Berthold says, curse this river. I've made two attempts already and been beaten by back both times. Already low on supplies and now the water has claimed what little I had left. I turn around, but the prospect of facing that interminable climb again is too much for me bear to bear. Not that the journey ahead is any more promising. Bill Kelly. The boys and I haven't had much luck hunting for gold here. We've been at it with, with, uh, with picks, shovels, and wash basins, and our efforts haven't been rewarded with a single grain. I think it's a waste of time to continue searching here, so we're going to move on in the morning. Tall Edna. The Humboldt has gone by many different names over the years. The English fur trappers used to call it Ogden's River, but everybody I know still calls it Mary's River. What do y'all have for trade? Maybe, what, like, ammo? <laughs> we rewatched a movie, haven't watched in over years. Movie, August Rush. Super movie. I've never heard of August Rush before, I will say. Uh, what do you offer for the 46 bullets? Five gold nuggets for 46 bullets. What do you offer for the nitroglycerin? Seven clothes? F, dude. What do you offer for the three clothes? Three clothes. No. I think I might pick up this bullets. I think I might pick up the bullets here. Let's haggle. Rachel. Good job, Rachel. I, you know, I feel like this is worth it. There we go. Four, four, uh, four gold nuggets for 46 bullets. I think that's worth it. Okay, uh, let's see what the cross is like right now. Rapid, okay, yeah, let's rest. But the way we're gonna do it is eight feet deep. Oh, we can use a fairy. We can use a fairy, yeah? Um, okay. Hulk the wagon, seal it, pelt it, seal it again, pelt it. 77%, where's our repairs at? Hang on a sec. Where's our repairs at? Okay, that... A little exposed there. That's fine. Uh, we obviously have to rest and wait for conditions to improve. So we will rest. Moderate. I will rest. Seven feet. I will rest. 6.9 feet. Moderate. 85%. I will go. I will repack. I will put the bullets into my inventory. And we shall go. Let's go. What's your top popcorn type for movies? The classic popcorn with extra butter. Simple and easy, baby. Simple and easy. Oh, shit. Everything okay? Okay, good. Whew. I'm really enjoying the Oregon Trail series. I have played a couple of the spinoffs. Oh, very good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it a lot, too. The wagon is uncalked and the supplies inspected. The party is thankful that they took the time to seal the wagon sufficiently. There are no additional losses in the, cr in the crossing. Good. And we got medicine, too. Very good. Big Meadows, here we come. Big Meadows, also known as the Great Meadows. This is a pleasant stop on the trail. Immigrants have set up a small tent town and allow their oxen and horses to feed while they rest. Collect meat and restore Shuru's health. Um, campsite. 
With Humboldt River crossing behind them, the party looks ahead with some trepidation, of course. Right. What is that? What is what? What is what are you talking about, Rachel? Oh. This? Berry full? Okay, okay. <laughs> um. We'll leave the berries. Ah! The party moves on, deciding it's still not best to take on the fruit. Sorry, Hannah. I wager they were tasty. We have plenty of food. It's okay, Hannah. Wagon condition. Something broke in the back, but that's alright. Nothing fell out. Ooh. An old windblown campsite lies silently in the dust. Previous owners have left some equipment and firewood that could be easily salvaged. Uh, yeah, we will set up camp here. We will uh, play music. First and foremost. Get that party morale up. I feel like this, this California trail that we got going on is helped out a lot with the musician character being unlocked for us. We will cook. We will let Lulu cook. Everybody's health will go up. Uh, Lulu has long pursued the best flavors in the world and is able to utilize that knowledge to cook an incredible banquet for the party. They enjoy the meal immensely, eating every last bit in record time. We have a sweet and salt or mixed and toffee stuff covered in bags. Butter is common in the pop in the microwave type. They started doing gourmet popcorn like white chocolate and raspberry pieces. That's pretty cool. I like the um I like like the butter popcorn you get at the theater, and then I like mixing the butter popcorn. You pop it, you know, to put the popcorn in the mouth, right? And then you put the licorice in the mouth at, at the same time. It's a good mixture there. Nice little licorice, red licorice and popcorn. Yeah. If you haven't tried that, you gotta try it. Come dawn, the party gets ready to move on. Uh we shall go this way. So if you want to get coffee, we need to collect 100 pounds of meat, which we, we're probably going to not do that because we just got 100 plus flour from restoring health there. So the party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. We shall go to the gold, of course. Go to the gold. I feel like 20 flour shouldn't take the same amount of space as 150 flour. I think the best sweet and salty thing I like the most is uh, like chocolate covered pretzels. I'm a sucker for that. I'm a sucker for love. An abandoned gold dig site here. We will get into this. Six or seven gold nuggets still in there. Mine. Dig. Rachel. Don't collapse. <gasps> what the heck? Golden opportunity. Rachel's hard work has resulted in retrieving two nuggets. What the heck was golden fever? Gold fever there. What should be done next? Keep going. We just got a big boost with gold fever. There we go. Hygiene is a little bit bad. And I think that's good. Four golden nuggets. That's that's wonderful. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of clothing, a little bit of hygiene. There we go, Rachel. And let's abandon the dig. We are on our way with four pieces of gold. Ah, that's what Danielle likes. Danielle likes that a lot. Danielle is a big, big fan of the uh, extra butter popcorn with M&Ms. Danielle is a big person on that. She likes that. I don't like chocolate, but I love pretzels with peanut butter inside. Have you ever done like the uh, pretzels with like the white yogurt, the white covered yogurt pretzels? You know what I'm talking about? I'm a popcorn maker and make theater style butter popcorn, salt and vinegar and vinegar and chicken salt. That sounds amazing too. Uh, yeah. Again, use and abuse our musician <clears throat> for morale purposes here. Hey, hey, those little checkered shaped pretzels dipped in cold yogurt. Another, f yes, yes, exactly that. 
but it'd rest a little bit. The button white frags improve hygiene. <laughs> I will have to say this this trail has been fairly easy. I hate to like jinx it, but I I've been having a decent time. A decent time, nothing too you know worrying about too much, right? Pretty good, pretty good indeed. We're about to get a bunch of food here at the end of this trail. We're gonna get a lot of flour. I know this might seem a little low, but we're about to get hit with another big stack of flour. This is a beautiful looking place. Look at this. Well, this looks good. The wagon arrives at Big Meadows, a welcome oasis for emigrants crossing the Great Basin. A chance to rest and trade. 132 flour. Good. We will talk. A huge number of travelers have stopped here to rest and prepare for the perilous desert crossing ahead. Cordelia. Well, this is the liveliest place on the trail so far. I've lost count of how many wagons have arrived in the time I've been here. Certainly enough to replace those that left. Isaac. This is good land. I may stay a while to let my cattle feed and to harvest some of the wild rye. Jack. I do hope you're prepared for what's ahead. The 40 mile desert is not for the faint of heart. It's a barren, sterile land. Devoid of any comforts. Don't expect to find any water or grass there. Only dead men and oxen. They say that only half the wagons that attempt the crossing make it to the other side. And that there's enough graves to fill a cemetery. Uh, wow, I don't even know how to say this name. Thok? Matoni? Thok Matoni? Thok Matoni? Thok Matoni? My lord, my grandfather took my family to live in California when I was very young. I was afraid and used to cry a lot and hide under people's robes. Once I became sick from poison oak, but I, I but a white woman gave me medicine to get better. When we got home, we learned about all the sad things that had happened while we were gone. I was just happy to be, uh, be with my father again, and he helped me while I cried. Winnemucca. My father, old Winnemucca. Calls immigrants our white brothers, but I wonder if they see us the same way. If they do, then why did they burn our winter supplies when we went to the mountains? The great immigration has come to our country just as I knew it would, and I fear that we will suffer greatly. Anybody worth trading anything? Oh, God. Uh... Greece, no. Glycerin, no. Toolboxes, yes, I could do this. Um, I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you bullets for this. We will go, Rachel. Good job, Rachel. And we will give him bullets. Nine bullets for three toolboxes. Thank you. Pretzels m m is good. They sell pretzels a lot over Christmas as a snack grab with other... Yeah. My, uh, my, my aunt does the same thing. Like, they make a lot of... Uh, she makes a lot of, uh, uh, like, yogurt-covered pretzels a lot for Christmas and things like that. Peanut butter ice cream stick covered in chocolate. So good. Only dead men and oxen. That's comforting. I know, right? Few of the first time trying on YouTube are now discovering Wittetakers. They all love it. I never heard of Wittetakers. Is that how you say them? Wittetakers? 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 If they didn't love Wittetakers, there's something wrong with them. <laughs> the part. I think we're good. We're good as we can. We're, we're good as we're gonna be. Whitakers? Oh, Whitakers. Whitakers. Okay, Whitakers. That's what I see. Whitakers. I didn't see the A in the in the in the uh, in the word there. Whitakers. Okay. Mormon Station. 
Last bit. Here we come. Mormon Station, a trading post, a place for a respite and a chance to resupply before tackling the Sierra Nevada. Small collection of buildings and budding gold seekers. Collect beat and all that. Holy moly. What is this? Celebrations. Okay. Gold. No, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. The party rolls out and into the forbidding stretch of the 40-mile desert. They won't see water again until they reach the Carson River in Mormon Station. Inventory full. Uh, no, no, no. Let's not. Uh, let's let's not. That that seems like a lot of flour to waste. Put that over there. That over there. Uh, put. Oh God. F. There we go. <laughs> uh. Brick. Ah. I don't think that's gonna fit right. No, but we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We can make it fit, maybe. No. I want this. I do. I will have it. Hoorah. <laughs> there we go. Do you ever sleep? I don't think I've ever seen any other gaming YouTuber game as much as you. Thank you for all the streaming and all the different games. It's much appreciated. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. Yeah, thank you. Pug Lover? Is that your name? Pug Lover. Like that name? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I'm not given... Not given... I'm not given... You see how I said that? Not giving in. I'm not giving in, not giving. <laughs> Without warning, the war wagon is surrounded by sandboard. All right, here we go. This is where it gets hard, right? The sandstorm worsens, limiting vision and forcing the party to slow. The party is coated in dust and sand. The air grows difficult to breathe. It tests the fortitude of all traveling through it. Could have just moved the herbal down one square. Did I mess up on the Tetris? He streams at a grueling pace with meager rations. <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. That's a good one. The party's water supply has run low. If it is not refilled before too long, dehydration and death may be the result. A small pond can be seen just off the trail. A few mosqu mosquito larvae swimming lazily on the surface. Without restocking the water supply, the party's morale stamina are sure to decline. Could the water supply be replenished? Continue without water. Sorry. The party avoids the dubious pool with their clean water supply dwindling. They are forced to ration what remains. A deep wariness begins to set in. But to the rescue. Oh, wait. The party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. With, hang on a sec. Like, honestly, can I, like, do this? Do this? Do this? We will give them some coffee. We don't have water, but we have coffee. But we need water to make coffee. So we are not using our water very ration well, are we? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, which direction? Celebration sounds good for morale. We shall go there. Let's go there. Uh-oh. Do we have any grease? I don't know if we have any grease. That's absolutely right. Everything that Brass Butterfly just said. That's absolutely, basically, that in a nutshell. <laughs> Greetings, wary travelers. I can see you are injured. Perhaps we can be of use to each other. I guess so. You see, I happen to be a physician, and it would be my pleasure to heal my any, any wounds. Oh, okay. Uh, trade 300 food for treatment? Appeal my situation. I understand completely. But know that while I cannot offer you a full treatment for free, neither can I allow an innocent to suffer. Please take this spared medicine. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I will do. 
I will do. Celebration. You may kiss? Excuse me. Am I coming up on a wedding? Woo! Hooray! Yeah! The party stumbles across an impromptu trail wedding. The crowd is cheering and celebrating the love of a young couple. The party could opt to join in or just keep to themselves. Honestly, you're getting married out here in like a graveyard? You're either desperate or, well, actually, I guess desperate would fall into this category as well. Maybe you think you don't have a lot of time ahead of you with uh, being in circumstances like this. So maybe this is the time to do it. You know what? Play on. Celebrate. We shall go. The party celebrates with others, uh, with the others late into the night. Each group enjoying the other's company. Party morale increases. Very good. Hygiene de Okay, so apparently we got some bad hygiene. But we got 30 food stuff. So in the morning, the celebrants have cleared out, leaving the party alone on the trail. The group also left a small crate of food stuff for the party by a way of thanks for the company. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Does it go? Do we have it, right? Like, we're good to go, yeah? Campsite. Stamina. We shall go this way. I kind of, I do want that. I do want that stuff. Uh, I'd rather have this stuff. Sorry, this stuff than the wheat. Or sorry, the flour. Because it gives morale. So, we shall discard that and possibly have that instead. Yeah, I like that better. Uh oh. Chura. 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 Chura, you need some you need some clothes, Shura. Same with you, Rachel. Discard that. And on our way. Have a happy turkey day. Take a break and enjoy some turkey. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, when Thursday comes, or when Thanksgiving does come, I, I will be uh, enjoying some nice food. I'm very excited. I can't wait. Tomorrow we're having a, uh, a Friendsgiving. So we're doing a big food and all that and get together at one of our friends' house tomorrow. So I'm very happy. It was like two turkey days kind of in a way. But tomorrow's for friends. Uh, Thursday is for family. <laughs> You should go no further. To continue on, you must assist me. Affliction most foul hath, hath cursed me. One of an insufficient inspiration, your travelers shall serve as a basis for my epic. As a reward, not only shall I let you pass unimpeded, unimpeded, but all shall know your names. Except. Excellent. I knew you would reason. Tell me, what event during your travels uh, has been the most important? One of full intrigue and pathos. Finding a huge nugget of gold. Who shall tell the story? Rachel. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Yada, yada, yada. Many a legend has enticed gold seekers with the promise of riches and more, but ye have truly achieved it. Ye have shown great surveying skill and truly divine luck. Yes, this shall make for an epic that will echo throughout the ages. Read by, uh, read by those for centuries to come. My thanks, heroes. I should let you pass. I shan't keep such heroic folk from any future gold you, you may do. Be sure to regal, regale, regal, regale me with your tales in the future. Nice. Hey, lady. How you doing, Lady Casca? Just got home from work. Bit, I've been lurking for hours, but I've been lurking for hours. So you've been lurking, smirking, and you were working. Very good, very good. Love to hear that. Yeah, Friendsgiving is awesome, isn't it? Friends, I'm excited. I am. I am excited. Some good people, good times, and food. Most importantly, <laughs> and food. Play a little music. Friendsgiving sounds cute. <laughs> it's, an, it's basically an excuse for us to all get together, play some games. Um, 
eat some food, drink some drinks, have some fun, and all the good night, basically. And be thankful, of course, that we are friends, right? Of course. The party awake awakens well rested. We shall go to the lost wagon. No, let's go to here. Let's go to the trail. A game giving sound like. <laughs> yeah, games as in like, I mean, last time we, we, uh, we did like, uh, we did like Monopoly and things like that and like board games and stuff. So play some Jackbox with your friends. That'd be pretty fun. Oh, we've done like, uh, cards against humanity and things like that and all that. Right. Up ahead, the trail narrows and it's completely blocked by a herd of oxen. A man appears to be tending to them. Man doesn't seem to take any notice of the party's arrival at all. Who should speak to the man? Uh, Rachel? Excuse me, could you move your herd? The wagon can't get past. Can't, they're grazing. The herd isn't moving, what should Rachel do? We shall wait. We'll wait, I'm not giving him anything. Two hours go by. The herd isn't moving. What should Rachel do? Rachel do? We shall wait. Sounds good. Sounds good. Way to wind down and relax and share some time together. Yeah, basically that's what it is. And like, honestly, talking about like, uh, like, uh, you know, catching up with everybody and what they're doing and because ev everybody's lives are busy, you know, catching up. How's things doing? How's life going? Without further a word, the herder and his oxen move on and out of the way. Good. Get out of here. We used to have friends give me before we got married and had the kids. Hey, sweet potato mama. How are you? Party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. We actually... Well, our, our friends have kids. They're bringing their kids over. And then our other friends... They... Uh, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. So this is like... She's starting to show too. Like she is. She is definitely starting to show. Pretty great. Pretty great indeed. Uh, the de But I see her at least. I see her like once or twice a week anyway. So. But it's good to see the other people. The desert ceaseless heat is only worsened by a lack of adequate drinking water. The party feels lethargic and exhausted. Mormon station's here though. We've made it. You guys have friends? <laughs> I cooked my turkey already. Then it feel like waiting. Have you played One Night Ultimate Werewolf? I've never heard of that game, actually. Never heard of that game. One Night Ultimate Werewolf. Never heard of that. Board games are a staple for the holidays. Good times. Absolutely. It is good times. Yeah, no shoot cow option. Get the hell out of the way. Like, just shoot the cow or shoot the oxen. Or, like, shoot the gun in the air and make them run. The party spies Mormon... The party spies Mormon Station ahead, a loose collection of buildings that serve as a chance to resupply before tackling the formidable Sierra Nevada range. The station not only provides good uh, sustenance... Sustenance? Sustenance? But acts as a reassurance that the party have tr uh, truly put the desert behind them. That wasn't so hard. <laughs> the desert wasn't so hard at all, at all. My son got a new cousin last week. Little Charlotte. Oh, he's three hours away, though. He went with his Nana to go see her today. Oh, very good. Oh, that's so good. I'd love to hear that. Little Charlotte. Oh, that's cute. Congratulations, your party has reached Mormon Station. Well, thank you. 52 days. Now, this is where we actually... This is the last place that we stopped at before we went to Oregon, I think, too. October 11th, 1851. Let's talk. So, as Emmick is traveling west to California, and there are Mormons here preparing themselves for the journey east to Salt Lake Valley. James Beckworth. I've been living in the West for a little while now, but last year I discovered a new route through the Sierra Nevada that I'm calling Beckworth Pass. 
I expect that it'll be able to start guiding wagon trains along it soon. It runs from Truckee Meadows to Marysville, which will derive a great benefit from the opening of this route. When I brought it to the attention of the mayor, and he readily agreed to finance my expedition, he was very agreeable. Gideon, we're so close now. Just the, uh, just these cursed mountains to get over. Excuse my language. I know my family's uh, waiting on the other side, so it's worth the drudgery. There's still hard work ahead. Even after the mountains, I know that. I'm just itching to start searching. Horus, I will admit to my faith wavering at the sight of those mountains we must tame to reach California. But although I am tempted to give up, I will not fail a test such as this. I shall sing loud and loud and loud and long from my new church. The faithful will come from miles around to wonder at its golden glory. May your own journey be blessed. Millicent, to say I've been humbled by this journey would be an understatement. I have a new appreciation for hard work, whether by myself or others, but especially my dear husband, Henry. We are on the cusp of realizing a dream, and it will taste all the sweeter for our efforts. I won't say I'm not frightened at the idea of trekking into those mountains, however, uh, especially after hearing tales of the folk becoming stranded during winter. Hey, Margaret. How you doing, Margaret? Late because I got caught up watching a Mickey Mouse documentary on the Disney Channel. <laughs> That's a good reason to be caught up. That's all right. <laughs> if you haven't played Farkle, check it out. We play it on a family vacation. I've heard of Farkle. I have heard of it. Um, I don't know how the game is played, uh, but I have heard of it. I've heard people mention Farkle. I've heard good things about it, too. Trade. It appears some people are willing to trade with you. Let's see. Um, ooh. Toolboxes. I'll give you one... I'll give you one medicine for four toolboxes. Thank you. Go to the store as well. We can talk to, yeah, the money guy. Gold nuggets. We'll split this... Well, we'll do seven again. Proceed. 56, Haggle. Rachel. Success. 63, accept. Hey, Ant Captain. How you doing, Ant Captain? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Dice drinking and fun. Oh, well, then that sounds like I definitely need to jump on that. Barco, baby. <clears throat> How's our party? Any services? No, no, no. I want to see our party here. Good health. Okay, that. Okay, that. Okay, that. Okay, that. Let's rest real quick. Yeah, let's rest. Let's see where that takes us. We will seek for lodging. Yep. See where that takes us as a whole. Fox pick. How you doing, Fox pick? How's it going? Yeah. How you doing? 23 hours lost. Okay. Rightfully so. Okay. Hygiene. We could do hygiene. Services. Hygiene. Five dollars a hygiene. Yeah, we'll do uh, Lulu. And we'll do Hannah. And that will be that. Fifty dollars. Let's go into the store real quick. I'm planning on going to an arcade today. I won a Beauty and the Beast handbag a few months ago. And I found out they have Disney backpacks in a claw machine at the moment. Going to try to clean them out. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, the Disney backpacks. I wonder if those are... Um, what are those called? Danielle has those. Um, 
Lounge flies. Are they lounge flies backpacks? Because if so, those are nice backpacks. Let's see. I will get grease. Let's see. Here. Grease. I think I'm going to get two greases. Food. We have uh, guns. Or so we have uh, ammo. Yeah, I think I might go two greases. Oh, I can't go two greases. I guess I'll hold on to my money, but I will buy at least one grease. There we go. Perfect. And uh, we shall depart. Oh, they are lounge fly backpacks? Is that what they are? Oh, very good. They are very expensive here in Australia. Yeah, they're they're I think here cuz Danielle likes lounge fly, she ha she collects some of them. Well, Disney ones at least. She collects Disney ones and they're like I think they're like $80 a pop. They 80 USD of course. I don't know in Australia, but Mountain Lake. A spectacular lake in the last real stop before the S the ascent into the Sierra Nevada, a logical resting place for immigrants before the final stretch of the California Trail. We can go to Mountain Lake or we can go to Carson. Uh, honestly, I think we go to Carson's Pass. Yeah. The only way through this part of the Sierra Nevada, cold and stark and beautiful, marking a half point through the mountains. Reward for restoring Hannah's health and collecting meat as well. Carson Pass it is. Um, What is this? Campsite health? Guess we'll go this way. We'll go question mark. Yeah. Some people make their money playing crane games and selling off the prices. The wagon rolls westward. The party feeling a mix of weariness and excitement. They have begun their final leg of the journey to California. The gold fields await. And with them, the promise of a healthy and wealthy new life for the party. California, here we come. Gotta go see this forehead. My ex is very good at crane games and would save up all the toys he got. Give it to two or three garbage bags full of toys to the fire department each Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's really cool. Field of red. A field of red spreads out before the wagon. Not blood, but flowers. Poppies such as these are not native to this land. They must have been brought here by prior migrants. And taken root in this new soil. Are you talking about poppies? Like California poppies? Poppy seeds. Are you talking about different poppies? Poppy seeds can be refined into lot. Oh, I see. A lot of them. Uh, poppy seeds. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, going back to the Seinfeld episode. Where Elaine tries to go on the trip with her boss. But she can't. Because she has opium in her system. Because she couldn't pass her physical. She had opium, and she doesn't know how she had opium in her system because she had poppy seed muffins. I'm a big fan of poppy seed muffins. I do like the poppy seed Costco muffins. Those are great. Those are my favorite muffins. Uh, the process, however, would be both lengthy and laborious. We will refine. I think this is a good idea. 18 herbals. Holy moly. Party sets to work harvesting and refining the flowers. Very well. 18. My lord. Let's use up some of that, shall we? Let's do that. 18. We have so many of these. There we go. Everybody has health is full. You get a herb. You get a herb. And you get an herb. I donate some of my winnings to the Christmas appeals or women's shelters. Oh, that's good. We have a Toys for Tots. We do like Toys for Tots. Yeah, we do the Toys for Tots thing. Lulu spies a cluster of mushrooms protruding from the dust on the trail side. The mushrooms are vibrant and yellow with a strange funnel like a shape like curves. 
These are the, um... The chanterelle? Chanterelles? We will gather. Lulu will gather. Ah, she failed it! But she did get food stuff from it. That's good, at least. Get some more food. I remember reading about some places put crane game controls in cam on the machine so people could play crane games via the net. It's true. It's true. Um, it's true, yeah. Uh, you're absolutely right about that, Anti Meow. I've actually done it myself. There's an app where you can play uh, crane games on the app. And um, I've actually won. Oh, hang on, I'll show you. Watch this. I actually done it. I, I, uh, I was in a vending machine playing on my phone, you know, working the controls, and then I won a prize. And then when I won the prize, or when, you know, the claw picked it up and all that, they shipped it to me. I'll show you. I'll show you what I got. This is what I got. I won a Snorlax in the app in the phone, uh, phone crane game. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I got a Snorlax for that. Hunting we will do. Yeah, we will do. Go to hunting. Which game? I always thought they were those were fake fake. I'll have to I'll have to find the app again. Um I'll have to find the app. I forgot the name of the app. But I did the app. They are not fake. At least some of them aren't. I don't know about others, but the one I played was not fake, and that's how I won the Snorlax. It's hard as hell, but I did win the Snorlax. <laughs> oh crap, rabbits? Oh god, they're so fast. Oh dear, 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 damn it. Ah! The rabbits are hard. Ah, don't waste your bullets. 40 food is good, I, I guess. Pretty high quality looking. Oh, yeah. It's super soft, too. Super soft. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost dropped him. This is... This is from Pokemon Center, too. 2007. It's a legit licensed Pokemon product. Um, gold or herbs? Gold. Yeah, we're not having any rabbit stew tonight. We will get 144 flour here for restoring the health, so that's good. We have food coming our way again. I shall use maybe a little bit of coffee. Oh my lord, we are at a cliff. The wagon hits a large bump and a loud crack and all that good stuff. We will let uh, Lulu do it. Have you or will you be playing Pokemon today after this stream's over? Uh, probably not. No, I don't have enough time to. I gotta get ready for tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow we're playing a new game on the channel. And then also we gotta cook a we gotta cook some food tonight for the friends giving for tomorrow because we're bringing some food over as well. So yeah, I, I won't have any time this weekend probably. Despite Lulu's hard work, she fails to improve the condition of the wagon. All right, let's fix this. And we have plenty to fix with, so we're going to do it. Okay, put that in. Hey, oh. What the frick just happened? Hey. Did you see that? What just happened? 
Golden opportunity, abandoned dig site. I guess so. Nine or ten gold nuggets. All right. It's not bad so far. No spoilers, but wandering around is kind of fun. Wandering around is kind of fun. I heard decent things about it. The only bad thing I heard about the new one is the performance is not good. But that's the, I think that's the only thing I I, I saw that wasn't uh, good about it was just the performance is lacking. But other than that, I don't know. There's so, I think there's there's different types of Pokemon people out there. I think there's a there's there's a there's a niche of people that like the open world Pokemon, and then there's a niche of people that do not like the open world Pokemon. I hear two different sides all the time. Rachel, go for digging. That was a drop and a half, wasn't it? Otherwise, uh, freaking, like, they were just, yeah, I don't know what the hell happened there. One gold. Do another one. Let's go. Abandon the dig. Two gold, fine. Let's go. Two pieces, that's good. Get out of here. Women are doing too well, so they removed gravity. <laughs> this party is doing exceptionally well. They're like, we have to do something. Let's take, I don't know, actual the ground out from underneath them. They said, no problem. They said, no big deal. They said, we got it. Give them a little closed. Continue. A musty sour odor emanates from the wagon, betraying the poor quality of the flower within. Uh, discard the flower. It's ten flower. No big deal. I'm literally opening the game right now. It just got delivered via Amazon. Oh, very good. You're still live and killing pioneers? Nobody's dying, all right? Nobody dies on the trail to California. This is the best, best trail we've ever had. <laughs> Why does the flower go bad, but the meat never spoils? I know, right? Oh, Bella is scratching her back right now. Glorious. Does that feel good, dog? You love it? You're a cute dog. Very cute dog. Arriving at Carson's Pass, the party uh, breathes heavily as they reach to the top of the trail leading through Carson Pass. The air is cold and the view is magnificent. This marks the highest point of their journey to California. So we got 144 flour for that. That's good. We will talk to some people. New travelers here are eager to move on, knowing full well the dangers of being caught in the Sierra Nevada during winter. Uh-oh. Helpful man. A young, girl's na a young girl named Rachel died while crossing the pass last year. Her mother wants me to search for the grave and leave a marker, but I haven't found it yet. It's supposed to be uh, at the base of a large fir tree, but that doesn't exactly narrow it down. I can't imagine being trapped on this pass during winter. I suppose that's the downside to taking a route with such extreme elevation. Call Edna. I've seen the Mormons using this trail too, although they're usually headed in the other direction. It makes sense this was their trail to begin with back in, in 1848. I almost said 1948. What are you doing that meat? Nah. Coffee? Nope. Nitro? Uh, I could get with the nitro, maybe. Hit me with that. 
Flower gets bugs, the meat would be heavily cured. Everyone go like the stream. Oh, there, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that, Heg. H-E-G, Heg. Nothing wrong with a few maggots in the flower? I know, just ask Joe Rogan on Fear Factor. Hey, Brass Butterfly, thank you for the four months. To the pump and dump, the great Bella summons us. <laughs> thank you, Brass Butterfly. Thank you for the four months of support. I do appreciate that. Two gold nuggets for two nitros. I think that's a good, good send there, yeah. We're gonna need more toolboxes too. And we'll haggle. For such. Damn it, we failed that one. Eight herbal remedies. I will do it. For three toolboxes. Yep. Okie dokie. Let's rest. Oh, it's Haley. Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> it's Haley. Okay. So your name is Haley. I picked a dumb username forever ago. Okay, I see. I feel you. All right. Sounds good. It's Haley. <laughs> uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Tragedy Springs. That sounds ho horrible. A peaceful, charming spot, despite the name. The water here is Eversent, 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 and said to have special healing properties. Avoid contracting dis dysentery and cholera. Celebrations for morale. Fishing campsite. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go there. From the top of the world, the party begins their descent towards California, where gold and glory awaits. Gold and glory. Uh-oh. Yep, we gotta repack this. Let's go there. No. Um, how am I gonna do this? Got it. Hannah winces in pain. Her gunshot wound still smarts, but the treatment she received has stabbed off any infection. All right, very good. Pervescent? Pervescent? You know, that's positive sounding, I know, right? Several travelers are, uh oh, 29 days until winter, by the way. Several travelers are celebrating their journey. Whether they're honoring their victories or commemorating their fallen is unclear. The party may be able to join the celebrations and restore some morale. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pick it up here. We'll celebrate. We're going to have to pick it up big time. It's going to get, it's going to get spicy here. Okay. It's going to get spicy. Gonna get spicy. Okay. We're gonna go grueling. We're going grueling. Okay. Hold on tight. Going to the campsite. I'm scared of the nitro. We have no nitro. Don't be. I don't think we do. At least. <laughs> do we have nitro? Oh, we do have nitro. Let's go ahead and use some wheel grease as we kick it into high gear here. We do have, we have two nitros. Oh my lord. All right. Oh yeah, that's why, right. We bought two nitros. Um, oh frick. We don't have any coffee. Fair enough. Here we go. 28 days. 28 days. Several travelers mill about, wagons unpacked, and campfires lit. This seems to be a popular camping ground and maybe a safe place to set up the night. We shall not. We shall leave. Party pushes on past the campsite. Indeed. Go to the gold mine. Don't need to go back to back on on uh, rests like that. And driving in, driving this now. It's beautiful but intense. 
Uh, but make sure... Oh, driving... Uh, even driving this now. It's beautiful but intense. Make sure you have chains. An abandoned gold site. Uh, right. We will do this. We will use nitro. And we will use uh, Shura. Please light it and run. Good job. Yeah! The party has gold fever. Oh, very good. I don't know why we get hygiene for gold fever, but we do. Eight gold nuggets. That's really good. Continue on to Tragedy Springs. I think we're doing good. I think we're making up time, so to speak. 265 pounds of food. Running at a grueling pace. All the good stuff. Yeah. Uh oh. What did I do? What did I do? What did I just do? What did I click? I don't know what I did. Okay, we're here. Okay, Tragedy Springs. Arriving at a Tragedy Springs, uh, the pleasant bubbling waters of Tragedy Springs belie the dark history of this site. But for wary and thirsty travelers, little matters more than fresh water and a chance to rest. Hey, we got a book and we got um, a harmonica too. Very well. A handful of the travelers are resting by the spring, thankful to finally have the mountain pass behind them. Evelyn. While I admit to some trepidation over the name, I see no reason why this place should be considered dangerous. Robert. Three members of the Mormon company that established this trail lost their lives here. They were done in by someone, but nobody knows for sure who it was or why. Robin. As it turns out, this is... One of the most agreeable places I've camped at so far. Although, now that I've said that, I expect trouble will find me as soon as I decide to leave. Very well. Any useful trades here? We have a lot of gold now, right? Um, Coffee. How much are you doing the coffee for? I'll, I'll, I'll haggle. Four gold, and I'll give you... In your, four gold for the coffee... We need that, actually. Especially if we're going at a grueling pace right now. I will take that. Uh, how much are you offering for the nitro? You want to go two and two again? No, I'm good. How much are you offering for the meat? One medicine for the meat? Actually... I will haggle. And I'll give you... Oh, good job, Rachel. I'll give you eight herbs for the meat. That's what I'll do. Um, shall we rest? Let's see. We shall not. We shall depart. Have a good day, folks. Graduate Springs is another uh, good band name. Hangtown in Grizzly Flats. Okay, that sounds terrible also. Uh, a, burga a, burga a, burgeoning, a burgeoning outpost and the first sign of real civilization for immigrants coming down the Sierra Nevada into California. We will go to Hangtown. We will go to the question mark. We will go. The party leave Tragedy Springs and its bubbling waters behind to continue their descent into California. They are only a handful of miles from the end of their long adventure. We will repack. Okay, so, uh, Bible. Let's go. We have enough food. I'm guessing the hygiene thing is that they're so happy about the gold, they don't care about the hygiene. And so the amount of dirt felt like three six to them before now feels like four six to them. They're like, rub gold all over me, all over my body. <laughs> I don't know. Lulu stops by the side of the trail to examine a small plant covered in tiny blue. 
These are organ grapes. Oh, yeah, the organ grapes. Three herbal remedies. Good. Repack these to nada. Nada. We have three harmonicas. My lord. Nada. Discard. Discard. I guess I could have repaired a little spot and put it and put it uh, put them in, but it's all right. It's all right. Uh, no hunting. Push on. Yep. We are good on food. We will go this route. Twenty six days until um, winter. We did get hit by one little piece of energy there. The party comes across a field of lush grass, perfect for grazing. It's a good place to give the oxen a break if there's time to spare. We're good. Push on. Sorry, oxen. The party pushes on. Maybe another time. Uh, our arrival day is one day to Hangtown. We will go to the campsite. I know. I'm surprised the oxen haven't collapsed or run away. I know, I've, I, th like, we've had our three oxen this entire time. All but good news. I'm not saying anything in case I attempt, attempt fate. Uh... We will leave. Continue on. Yeah. I know, right? Kind of crazy. I might be pushing it. I will say, I might be pushing it right now, but so far we're 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 doing pretty good. A little bit of hygiene went down. That was it. Wagon grease has officially expired now. We're only 16 miles out of Hangtown. We're making great timing. Golden opportunity. We will use the nitro here. Yeah. Use nitro. Skura, skura. Let skura do it. Don't F this up, please. Thank you for not effing it up. How much gold? Seven gold nuggets. Continue on. Very happy with that. 17 gold altogether. And we are officially at Hangtown. That was quick. We burned through that. In good timing, too. You could buy a country with that? <laughs> 17 gold? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, all right. Welcome to Hangtown. I wonder if this is like a real place in real life. Or if there is something named after this. Arriving at Hangtown. Um, nestled in the western foothills of the Sierra Nevada, Hangtown marks the last real outpost before the end of the California Trail at Sutter's Mill. Talk to Henry. Hangtown didn't have a sheriff's office until last year. Even now, the mob sometimes takes justice into their own hands. That's why this town has such an unfortunate name. Tall Edna. Thousands are moving to California thanks to the gold rush. The miners set up a small camps to begin with, but they need food and shelter just the same as anyone else. So stores start opening up, and pretty soon you've got yourself a new town. Oh, Ava! Look, it's Ava! My husband and I were recently married at Fort Bridger. We were so happy to be starting a new life together, but we were not welcome in Oregon when we arrived. Oh my lord. Well, that won't do. No government can tell me that I can't live happily ever after. Wow, that's really cool. That is really cool. Well, I mean, it's not cool that, you know, that happened to her, but it's really cool that we know a little bit of even more story to Ava. Apparently, the travels to Oregon uh, did not go very well. They were not welcome. 
Ava Saga continues, yeah. The city of Placerville, really, also known as Hangtown. Really? Placerville is the city of... Now, I see now. Okay, I, I know exactly where Placerville is. It's a true shame that we can't settle where we wanted. But my dearest is quite right. Our love is true and we will not be uh, deterred. Oh, it's Douglas. That's why we've come to south... We've come south to California. Oh, very well. Westbound travelers mix with established miners in the streets of the small town. Uh, let's see. Anybody got supplies they would like to trade? Um, maybe the toolboxes? I'll give you one gold nugget for the toolboxes. How does that sound? Nobody's selling grease, though. That's a little bit uh, disappointing. We will rest. We will rest and then look at um, trades again. Placerville is not too far away from where I live now. Trade. Trade supplies. I'm looking for grease. No, no grease. That's what I was looking for the most. Okay, we shall depart. Our last stretch to Sutter's Mill. Sutter's Mill, the very end of the California Trail. From here, individuals seeking gold and glory can make their way to the gold fields. Uh, what the heck is that? Grazing ground. Animal exhaustion. Cures animal exhaustion. We will go there. I'd rather go there, just in case if I do exhaust these animals as we're coming out of uh, Hangtown. The party strikes out on the final stretch on their long journey. Sutter's Mill and the California gold fields await them. Uh, we will discard the single toolbox. And this should be good. A small mound of earth uh, sits atop the path. Flecks of trail dust strewn about it in by the wind. The ground has been disturbed recently, perhaps to a bury a supply. No, no, no. We'll leave it. Leave it. Don't touch it. Let's not jinx it. We're already in good in, in good spirits here. We have a, we're, we're very set. We have the food, we have the hygiene, we have the morale, we have it all. This women, these women, this women, these women here have killed it. They have absolutely killed it through this entire thing here. So the greys is here. Let's see how our uh, oxen are doing. Oxen are doing fine. Uh, we will push on. And we shall push on to... We shall go here. And we're going to make it to California before the, uh, before the, uh, winter comes. Yeah. Not having auto, auto may have helped. Not having auto definitely, I think auto slowed us down. Let's be real. Auto did make it to Oregon. Auto slowed us down a bit. Cora, not having Cora helped. And then Skatoos, like, don't even get me started with Skatoos. How are we doing stamina-wise? Good? Alright, let's leave. We shall push on. To... Here. Undiscovered. Yeah, Otto kept tripping, tripping every five minutes. Skatoos actually was probably, like, the biggest troll of all time. Let's be real. This campsite has been set up with a wash basin and bathtubs that make use of the nearby springs. It's a great opportunity to restore hygiene, though it may take some time. No, we're good. <laughs> we're, we're good. We don't need it. We absolutely don't need it. And here we are as we arrive to Sutter's Mill in California. Yeah, the paranoid was strong too, yeah. And lost good harvesting, yeah. That's true on Sukatoos. I feel like this trail was super easy. Super easy. Not a lot for us, right? Not a lot. Didn't hurt as much. These women are so hygienic too. Yeah, that's very, it's very true. That was a very quick leg. 
We burned through that. And I was burning through that because I was scared of winter more than anything. But have no fear. Here we are. Look at this place. This place looks awesome, too. That was a great playthrough, right? Yeah. And look at the morales. Everybody arrived. Nobody left. Nobody died. Nothing. We did it. At last, Sutter's Mill, the end of the long and harrowing, harrowing trek for Fort, from Fort Hall. Originally a sawmill, the site is now bustling with the activity of hopefuls searching for gold. Beyond the gold, the fields of California are waiting, full of riches and glory for those who have risked their perilous journey. With a respectable stash of 16 gold nuggets already in their wagon, the party will have no trouble securing equipment and supplies and are well on their way to making a fortune of their own gold fields. Sick. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is cool. And nobody scatoos at the last minute. Yeah, nobody scatoos at the end there. Congratulations, your party has reached Sutter's Mill. Took us 65 days to do it. That last Sutter's Mill leg only took less than two weeks. You've reached California. Despite great odds, the party's wagon made it across the Sierra Nevada and into California on October 24th of 1851. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. We did zero fishing the entire time. Very good. Ooh, what is this? Oh, look at this. Characteristics. Oh, this is awesome. Rachel survived and reached California. Uh, Rachel contracted in illness zero times and inflicted with injuries zero times. That's impressive. Whereabouts? Uh, Rachel donated large sums of gold to charitable causes over many years, becoming a local legend. Legend. Chura uh, survived and reached. Only was inflicted one time with a broken leg. Uh, Shura found gold and invested it in a prosperous family business, producing workwear for miners. Lulu, zero times on injuries and illnesses. Lulu, years of hard work eventually resulted in great success and wealth. Hannah, who got shot and burned, but not sick, uh, but wasn't sick, struck it lucky shortly after arriving in California and retired on a large fortune. Hannah was very quiet. Very quiet throughout the entire trail, I feel like. But she retired early. That is awesome. How cool is that? That is sick. GG's. Where did that put us? Are we a master traveler? A Adept Wayfarer? All right. Very good. <laughs> Adat. Adat. Oh. Prospector class unlocked. So now we have a prospector class unlocked. Very cool. Miles traveled. 1,125 miles traveled. 29% of the game completion is, is... So that gave us like, what, 9% right there? That is awesome. That is so, so cool. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it in today's stream of the Oregon Trail. Hope you all enjoyed today's stream of the Oregon Trail. It's been a pleasure not to be with you today. I really enjoyed it. Really loved uh, coming through with the uh, California Trail there. And really, honestly, like, super, like, easy. <laughs> super easy um, and all that good stuff. If you like today's stream, make sure to hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. Uh, we will be streaming a new game tomorrow, so definitely... Be uh, on the lookout for that. We will be streaming something new. And we will only be streaming one game tomorrow. Only one game. So yeah. Definitely hope to see you there tomorrow. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all for such a good time. Hanging out with me. And I will see you all here very, very soon. And do as always. Take care. <laughs>